family, go for that free heart scan. There's a few minimum requirements, but this is definitely worth it. Help me spread the word and have a conversation with your loved ones and get them in to get that free heart scan. Book your scan now for Life Imaging FLA. Early detection saves lives. Call Life Imaging FLA. You pick up your cell phone, you dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan, few minimum requirements, and you can have that scan done. It's free heart scan from Life Imaging FLA. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan, and you'll be connected in seconds and ask about cancer screening. Get a scan if you can. Early detection of cancer can definitely save your life. It's Life Imaging FLA. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. Get a scan if you can. Life Imaging FLA. This is trial attorney Jeff Coffin from the injury law firm of Coffin and Lind. Yes, another attorney commercial. When people ask me what they should look for when they're hiring an attorney, I make it pretty simple. One, has your attorney been practicing for more than 10 years? Two, do they pick up the phone when you call? And three, do they actually care about you? If this works for you, contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546, office Orlando. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the big green egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a big green egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well. When you get the big green egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wassysmeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. You are now listening to The Jim Colbert Show on Real Radio 104.1. That's right, guys. Here we go on a Thursday edition of the Jim Colbert Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate that as we do every single day. We do have a good one for you today. We'll get you caught on what's happening out there in the world. Double do that around 3.20 with Woke News. 4 o'clock hours busy. Date night done right at 4 o'clock with our friend Danny Myring from Orlando Date Night Guide. Colbert Court, our buddy Glenn Clausman in today with a case from Clausman Law. 5 o'clock hour, it's banging, guys. Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill's coming in. Chef Telaluna. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about our uh, uh, Sip and Savor event coming up on April 6th. Going to be awesome. I haven't had these in a while. Doing three of them this year. And you definitely want to be a part of these things. They are a blast. And for the money, you simply cannot beat it. We'll do trivia in the 5 o'clock hour. We'll end it up with, you heard it here first, your calls, texts, and talkbacks all day long. Welcome to the program. I am Jim to my left. My lovely, very dangerous co-host, Ms. Deb Robert. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Find us easily on social, Instagram, and Facebook on the Jim, at The Jim Colbert Show. On Twitter, it's just at Jim Colbert Show. And, of course, all day, every day at JimColbertLive.com. Check us out on YouTube. Just go to JimColbertLive.com. Click right through to our YouTube channel. And uh, off you go. You can also send us a talk back if you'd like. Uh, get the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it. Use that microphone to send it on down the line. I bit my tongue today. Oh, no. And, Where? And, and right at the, the, Just now? the right tip of it, right before I came on the show having oh. lunch. That's it's the weird. worst. You guys know I have these these back right two teeth are gone on the bottom right. the bottom jaw because they, they you know I got an abscess under it uh, because of a cracked tooth. I have a horse jaw too, and I had to pull it out <laughs> there. And but this one tooth now juts out there, and if I'm if I'm eating, 
and you get it on that one side, it's easy to kind of get in there. So I, I bit the tip of my tongue. It sucks. Now, I wonder if that's from the dental work or, you know, like the stress, right, of, you know, everything that's going on with the alignment. Are you clenching your teeth at night or no, grinding I mean, it all? I, I wear the same mar- mouth guard that okay. I wear for uh, for snoring. Okay, you know, good. So, I, uh, that, so I don't die in the night. Yeah, but that's not for um, that mouth clenching. No, thing. no, no. It's not for that. Actually, the way, I think you and I have the same one. It's like uh, well, it's it's this really hard plastic. The Sonos, yeah. That that jets your bottom, your mandible, your yeah, bottom yeah, yeah. jaw forward. It just keeps to, it from falling back, actually. Yeah, yeah, opens up the esophagus so you can breathe easier and you it reduces your snoring and it's great. It's the greatest. Listen, I'm not saying that if I sleep on my back that I may or may not snore a little Listen, bit when man, that mandible slips back. Everybody does it. And look, here's the thing. You can you can do it yourself. Like just sit back and let your natural let it relax and then try to breathe through your nose. Right. It shuts it down and then use your muscles to jut your jaw forward and then breathe through your nose. It's perfectly clear. <laughs> and that's all this thing does is keep your jaw from falling back and closing up your uh, your sob- So but a mouth guard to prevent you from clenching. That's different. That's yeah. different. And the dentist just told my daughter that she needs one. And here's oh, what, and here's Lord. What, here's what happens, man. You, you know what they cost? Uh, I know what mine cost. Well, no. Not the, the well, one for snoring. The but, one for clenching. Oh, it shouldn't be that bad. Oh, yeah. They, no, no, no. But, they're, but I thought those were more aligned with, like, your, your sports you know, tooth guards. They were more soft and... and I'd, I'd like to no. think so, and I, I, I would hope that would work as a cheap sub- life hack. Yeah, no, when I got mine, in fact, when I got mine, and this is like over 25 years ago, the orthodontist was uh, said, you're going to want to keep these molds because if you ever need to get right. this, bike, this bite guard done again, right, right, um, right. you're going to... It's This is a big part of the expense, and unfortunately, I did not keep the molds okay. and was clenching my teeth so hard that I ended up cracking the guard and I tried to file it down as best I could. Yeah, yeah. And it's amazing what feels really smooth and whatever to your finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead and pop that bad boy yeah. in your mouth. You're gonna find out just how really yeah. smooth it is. Look, but you, it's it's expensive. Yeah, uh, they, they, it's over three hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna guess between two fifty and five. So I'm actually okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you were gonna hit me with a big old number. Yeah. No, 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 no. But still, it's my yeah, daughter's yeah. teeth. It's not mine. So it's right, like, right. how much do I got to invest in this? Who kid? cares, right? She's young. Um, but you know, when they pull those teeth out, right, they tell you whatever you do, don't rub your tongue over that area because you think to yourself, it says, don't do that because you'll wear it raw. And I'm like, wear it raw with your tongue. And the doctor was like, you don't know that, but your tongue is very rough, right? Like your tongue is built to be rough. The whole idea is, or part of it is, is that there's a lot of texture to it. You know, if you're a dog or a cat licks you specifically your cat, I mean, you feel that, right? It's like sandpaper. Exactly. So there's like, whatever you do, don't rub your tongue on there. You'll rub it raw and cause more problems. So I was really cognizant not to do that. You're always told that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Ooh. Jack has a problem. Oh, and, well, uh, what's my problem? And we're going to help Jack solve You're his my problem. problem. And I know that, and that's fine. That's my favorite <laughs> part of this job, by the way. Uh, so Jack has a problem with remembering his stuff when he leaves oh, the building. Oh, yeah. So oh. for two times over the last, like, two weeks, Jack left the building and did not have his phone with him at one point. And the other point, it was uh, something else. And for people who yeah. don't know, we have an app on our phones, and that gives us access to the building. Well, here's the question, though. Does this include the time that I came back and rescued <laughs> no. him? Or it, or is no, this... it, it doesn't include that, Deb. <laughs> doesn't You're that. kidding. So here's what happens also, which is about, okay, so to get into the building itself, there's one security code. There's one security thing that we have a badge for. But to get into our suite where the station is, it's another thing. It's another app. So there are two factors. Factors. Yeah, thanks. So, but the problem is, is when our building at 7 o'clock, our building shuts down. It's and at it, 6. It's 6. And if you do not have the pass to get into the building, you can't even get into the suite because you can't get into the building. No, you cannot. And because a lot of people, once we switch to this uh, this phone app, a lot of people stopped carrying their badges because very few people are in this building past, you know, what I mean, if you're being honest, noon, three, three o'clock, four o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Just not a lot of people in the building anymore, right? A lot of people working out there remotely. Um, but so Jack forgets it uh, yesterday, forgets his, uh, was it the phone this time? So, no. The, it's worse. Like a month ago, <laughs> it was just the phone. I had my wallet and keys. So I leave, I get to my car. I'm like, you know, and then I go to put my phone in the oh, yeah. console, right, right, right. you know, and it could, I'm like, look. Oh, my phone. Oh, I got to go back in. Yeah. And, you know, I go in, go up, and it's like, oh, wait, I need my phone to actually get in because get to my that's phone. security. <laughs> I mean, I have the card that gets me in the building, 
but the phone gets us into our office. Right, 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 right. So my phone's inside. So I'm like, <laughs> what? What am I? I, I got to go home without my phone? <laughs> what? Yeah, you had an entire day without your phone. So I drove home, and then I start listening to, like, I listen to our station, and I'm like, <laughs> I went, I put the sports station on, and it was a live UCF basketball game. Uh-oh. And they're like, thanks to, you know, and thanks to Scott Harris in the studio. I'm like, Scott Harris is in the studio. I know Scott. Scott can let me in. This is going to be great. All I have to do is call him. I'm uh, like, oh, <laughs> you don't have his number. There's no way you have, have it memorized. No way possible. I, so it's in my phone. So the same scenario <laughs> just happens. Uh, was it last night or the night before? Last night. Last so night. Two, two nights oh, ago. Two nights. I had my phone and I got, I got my phone and I walk out the door. I get to my car and I'm like, where are my keys? <laughs> oh, they're worth my wallet. No hey. problem. I can get back into the office. No problem because yeah. I have my phone with me. Yeah. But can you get into the building? Well, it yeah. turns out you can't because Jack doesn't <laughs> carry his pass phone. anymore. Yeah. So here's the oh. problem Jack has. On top of not being able to remember anything and not get access to where he works, <laughs> which most people would not consider a problem. Jack actually likes being here, so he, he loves being in the building. So, I'm like, oh, I get to stay late. So Yay. he has to call the same guy, Scott Harris, who yeah. has been his savior. That's Jack Jesus is Scott Harris. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> who lives down um, in Winter Park by the chicken guy, the Fier- yeah, yeah. Guy Fieri yeah, thing. So, yeah, yeah. So, so real close. So 1792. <laughs> And like a Virginia oh. is where he lives. And, and look, it's not a, you know, you, you don't have to book a flight, but it is a 20 minute ride to get there because of traffic. So Jack, so Scott gets out of his house, so, gets yeah. dressed and drives down here to let Jack in. And Jack's issue is what do you get somebody who yeah. did you that kind of favor? He did, oh. he did me a big what, favor. Wait, that's a so. giant solid. Yeah. He and did he you like, a big solid. And I mean, I texted him. He's, uh, and the f- text I got was, be right there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, he's a gr- uh, was, the, one of the greatest. Yeah. Uh, Scott's, Scott yeah. is one of the greatest dudes yeah. ever worked in this building. Yeah, don't say big solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but but he, did, but he did Jack a solid, and Jack doesn't know what to get him. Yeah. What's no. the, what's, what do you think? Let's just start here. What do you think the maximum dollar amount that has? Oh, slow down. I don't know. Is it twenty five? Yeah, I'd say that. You know what? I think that's twenty five or thirty dollars yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, no, yes. I I think you need to get him Taylor Swift concert tickets. No, 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 oh, no, no slow here. your what, roll. What's wrong with you? God Almighty, he doesn't. I mean, he's, his kids are too old to trade. So I think the easy, <laughs> the easy, um, the easy. The, the the most logical, the thing that first came to mind was alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. he doesn't drink much, right? Or does he? Oh, I don't know if he does. I don't know. I know he's a big, gigantic soccer fan. He is. Well, he I mean, works. He, and he, he has access, right? Team. Yeah, he has yeah. access to all that stuff. Yeah, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. There, you can't you can't, can't bonus him, him swag anything from... Orlando City because he has access. Well, to Well, do you know if he's like a Liverpool or a Man U fan? Ooh, any good, any team outside of you know outside of Orlando City? That's a great question. That maybe is a, a great question. Made you, <laughs> maybe, maybe like a scarf or something. Like you the, want me to find out? Yeah, how am I supposed to know? Yeah. I don't. Know. Well, go to his Facebook page. I would guess that's a good start. His social media. Isn't that Scott? one of the hacks that you gave us recently? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it was. That's, what it, that's one of the If you the have hacks. a hard time buying for somebody, go to their social media and look and see what they're interested in. Exactly. I can't, can't believe I never thought of that to begin with. But I, 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 I'm weird about the alcohol thing. It's just such a go-to, and I'm weird about the gift card thing. Uh, that's a real personal thing he did for you. I mean, he got up, he disrupted his evening to come yeah. up and help you out. Oh, well, lay for, it on, for, Jimmy. For the second time, by the way, this guy's had to save your ass. Yes, come on, Jimmy. Yeah, slow down. No, there's no slowing slow down. down. Is it more? No, it's the second. It's the first time. No, it's well, the second it, time. No, that first time I went home without a phone. Okay, very good. But I, I he mean, thought about calling him. He just couldn't. He would because have. He, he didn't have his, his damn phone. Number. We've had a great relationship over the years. Ooh. I love the guy. Yeah, had. No, we still do. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I'm not the one speaking in past tense. Okay, so I think actually, I think this is where a gift card would be extremely appropriate because and, it's oh. not like it's a Christmas gift and it's your kids or yeah, your yeah. wife and I couldn't yeah. think of anything. So mm-hmm. here, but that I think that would be something yeah, that he would sure. totally appreciate. Yeah, nothing says thank you like a blooming onion, dude. Hey, come I, on. I, get I him, like get him something onion. cool. I understand that. The blob part, right? Yeah, yeah. So you get him a sweet, sweet pre-roll. Oh, yeah. And Dude. then you take a $100 I'm not, bill. I'm not sure. Well, what's well, well, You pop sure. that bad boy open. <laughs> not, not, sure, not quite sure he sparks dip. What is wrong with you? <laughs> maybe you wrap his Chiba maybe, in Benjamin Franklin. Maybe we, should, maybe we should double check and see if this guy even rolls like that. No pun intended. I don't even know what well, any of this means. Yeah. Then yeah, he Jack. keeps the $100 bill, and you get to take the bee home. Old nerd dad Jack doesn't get the, the sure. weed talk. Right? Okay, yeah, All whatever. right, 407-916-1041. Uh, text us at 77031. Scott Harris, thanks for reminding He's one of the three hosts of our our theme park, 
theme park podcast. Yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. It airs every Saturday morning yes. at, at 7 a.m. No need to plug. I think what I will do is not cancel the show. Oh, oh God. Solid, Jack. Solid, Jack. Jack, you're going to have to just wait and start to toss it around the My room. My God, you got to start with that. putting out a gift guide. I'm right. going to give him another week. <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. God, you're so benevolent, Jack. And all these times, I thought maybe you were different, but no. Okay, I'll take the blunt and the beat in the yeah. hundo. <laughs> Jack the Giver Bradshaw. His oh, new name. No. Oh, Jack. Tat, the tat's just around the corner. It really is. What do you got for news? Uh, at FTX co-founder oh. is sentenced in the crypto fraud case. Whoa. That guy looks like a cartoon bad guy. He does. That guy looks like a guy you could animate exactly how he looks, <laughs> and you would buy him as a uh, as a bad guy to the Incredibles. Hey, keep that, uh, that theme going, okay. Jimmy, because closer to home, an Orlando commissioner has been arrested <laughs> oh, in an elderly abuse case. She, she is a bad guy. Yeah, exactly. She doesn't need to look like one. She oh, is one. Oh, oh. Holy balls. Looking, and then finally, a possible moonshine cave. Is found under the Wilkesboro Speedway. Really? Wait till I give you the details on I just how many it. seats have to be removed. Really? It's it's a killer story, dude. Really? I haven't heard anything about that today. Well, we'll talk about that and more coming right. up next during Woke News. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. There's something up for sale. The number is ridiculous, but what I tell you what it is and where it is and why, I think maybe you'll get it. NFL has adopted some new rules for kickoffs, and there's legislation introduced to make cyber flashing illegal. I'll tell you about all that a little bit later. Huh? Stay tuned. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show. Deb's News up next. Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringo's Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Looking at a slow ride on I-4 this afternoon, both east and westbound by the major attractions exits for those traveling on the interstate through Orlando this afternoon. Looking at a crash with roadblock reported at Lake Underhill and Chickasaw Trail. Another crash still causing northbound delays on John Young Parkway at Town Center Boulevard. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla of Trenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. At International Diamond Center, nobody tells our story better than our own non-commissioned diamond experts. In the 17 years that I've been in this industry, I have never been able to offer my clients the things that I can offer at IDC. What's best about our our company is that we have access to far more options than most retailers typically do. None of us are paid on commission at all, so our interests are pure. We always encourage people to shop around because we know that our prices are good enough. You will be back. It's not a selling environment at all. We want to know what's most important to you and help you get there. We take care of your ring for life. We invite you in as an extension of our family. It's about helping each client achieve what they want to become a hero. When we approach it in such a straightforward manner, it's refreshing. They almost look at you with a side of relief like you take the mystery away the merchandise that we have is unmatched the prices that we have are incredibly competitive our quality is unsurpassed international diamond center discover the difference our people get store hours directions and more at shopidc.com life's a constant swirl of shopping groceries clothes gifts the occasional self-care splurge you know how it is that's why you should get the drop app with drop you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download DROP now for free on the App Store or Google Play. 
Hey, Magic fans, when you're heading out to the Amway Center or anytime you're away from your business, commercial, or residential property, or you have a special event and you want to be sure that you're well protected, contact American Protection Services and Investigations, proud partner of the Orlando Magic. For a full list of our security services, dial 833-4APSI. Over 30 years in the business, your safety is our top priority because your business is our business. Join a one-night spring edition of Harry's Sip and Saver, April 6th, 6.30 at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, 9840 International Drive, featuring mixology and culinary arts. Harry'sPoolside.com slash Harry's Sip and Saver. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my Big Green Egg. Why? It's impressive, and everything turns out great on the Big Green Egg. If you don't have one, you got to go to Wasi's Meat Market and get a Big Green Egg. They have the lowest prices in the country. They also have all the accessories, everything that you need. They have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the Big Green Egg and advanced techniques on the Big Green Egg as well. When you get the Big Green Egg from Wasi's Meat Market, there's a lifetime guarantee, so check them out. It's it's Wasi's Meat Market. Check them on Instagram or go to their website, wasi'smeatmarket.com in Melbourne on Wickham Road. It's Wasi's Meat Market. Are your energy costs through the roof? FAS Windows and Doors is now offering buy three, get one free windows on any project. This is a plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. FAS also offers 24-month financing. No money down, no payments, and no interest for 24 months with this new financing option available from FAS. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS Windows and Doors today or visit us online at FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit required. Bank approval, CRZHill.com for details. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. A1Garage.com, A1 from day one. At work, just pretend you're on a Zoom call with us. Your mic is off. Your mic is off. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Hey, Ohana, what's happening? Yeah, brother Matt. Anyway, I don't know where you guys get your, uh, your mouth guards done. 
but mine has two rubber bands to keep the lower jaw forward while you're sleeping. And the lab in California, oh, it was 1200 out the door anyway. Give me the 411 on one cheap up. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. You made $200 for a rubber band contraption. I was going to say, Jack would have just used yeah. the rubber bands. Yeah, no. So the one, the mouth guard my daughter needs is for the bite, right? Yeah. So that's different. The one you're, uh, that Jimmy and I have that puts your lower jaw forward, I think ours costs more than that. 3500 bucks. Uh, at the time. I thought so. Because yeah, $3,500. That... It's a lifetime product. So that's yeah. why they, they're they not selling you the, the, it's not like tires. Yeah. You know, they sell you one of these damn things. So they're getting you. And, you know, they're, you know, they're custom made for your mouth. And they're adjustable. Say, it's a break actually is what it is. Because yeah. it's more than just your teeth, right? Oh. They t- I mean, they're doing all kinds of fittings and it, stuff. So the price, you know, you get what you pay for. It basically is the same exact process as making dentures. It's the okay. same exact process. It's custom molded to your mouth. Like I couldn't give mine to Jack and vice versa. I don't. First things that, first, ooh, gross. Yeah, yeah, Secondly, yeah, 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 it would not fit. All right, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1. If you want to leave a talk back, you can do that. that. Just get the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it. Use that microphone to send it on down the line. Welcome back. I am Jim. Jack is right there. Yep. And Deb has your news. And now it's time for Woke News. It seems like kind of a misuse of the whole world. On the Jim Colbert Show. And Woke News is brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. Listen to him on Saturday morning when he's host of the Home Loans Radio Show. All right, new evidence shows the pilot of the cargo ship that crashed into a major Baltimore bridge called for help. The pilot radioed for tugboat help and reported a power loss just minutes before crashing into the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore Harbor. Once the ship struck the bridge, of course, it went down with the National Traffic Safety Board saying the nearly 50-year-old span, it had just celebrated its 47th anniversary a few weeks before the accident, lacked the structural engineering redundancies uh, that is common to newer spans. Right. Think of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge collapsed 44 years ago right. and how they've rebuilt that bridge to Hopefully to be able, if it did take a a strike, to have those redundancies Mm -hmm. around it. So they say that's what made this particular bridge more vulnerable to a catastrophic collapse. And in case you haven't heard, we do have a a really quick, a new news uh, feature at the end of the night called You Heard It Here First, where we did cover the fact that they had recovered two of the bodies. Right. Four of the construction workers remain missing. They're saying that uh, Mayday Call by the captain actually helped save lives because they yeah. were able to, uh, to stop the flow of traffic onto the bridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. was the other thing. big heroes there, stopping the traffic. Yeah. Just, yeah. And if you watch the time lapse of the collapse of the bridge, where the, you can see the ship lose power a couple of times, watch the cars going across. There are a number of people who just barely made it over yeah. uh, before the collapse. But you can see clearly the traffic diminishes right as it's it's happening. Um, so I think they minimized the oh, uh, they did. the possibilities there. Yeah, that May Day call saved a couple of lives, including one of the construction workers uh, who were the first two to have been saved, uh, who said that, you know, when he heard a police officer tell him, you have to get off this bridge, and he started running, he said, just as he cleared, the bridge, like, dropped behind wow, him. could you imagine? Oh, my goodness. Could you, you imagine that is looking final back destination. and then just seeing nothing? No. Or if you decided to, like, walk. It's oh, like, yeah. you know, uh, like you do with the fire, you hear the fire yeah. alarm, You're you know. Like, fine. Yeah. It, it's, it's, yeah. Where's the yeah. elevator? Yeah. Oh, it's on fire. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, it's, uh, it's a screaming death box to hell right wow. now. Oh, I know. Isn't that terrifying? Wow, 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 wow. wow. All right. Uh, the other big story of the day today is that FTX co founder Sam Bankman Freed has been sentenced to 25 years behind bars. The irony of his last name. I know. I know. Exactly. In his company's cryptocurrency collapse, the sentence was handed down today and the same Manhattan courtroom where the so-called crypto king was convicted of fraud and conspiracy just four months ago. Federal prosecutors were seeking up to 50 years in prison uh, for Brankman Freed while his lawyers sought a paltry six and a half years in a $10 billion fraud scheme. Now, the 32-year-old apologized in court saying the collapse of FTX Haunts him every day. It does yeah, not. I, I bet it does. It doesn't. I'm going to tell you straight up. This really? guy. Does, no, I'm telling you straight up. You can look at personality traits. This guy does not have any remorse. He does not care about your money being gone. He doesn't. If he'd do it again tomorrow, he would do it again. That guy. You could see that man. There. When you there's you you could just feel bad on people, and that guy is just a bad. soul. And, and you look at how his parents reacted to it. I mean, that's where he got it from. They're all like that. 
I mean, all of I his didn't parents. I see his parents. It's ridiculous. That guy should be in jail for the rest of his life, causing people their livelihoods like that. Well, that's Get the hell I, out of here. I thought, you know, in a ten billion dollar scheme, I mean, that's God. These I have no remorse for these these uh, white collar idiots. I have to me, some of it is just as bad as as assault crime because of what it does for you yeah, long term. Absolutely. Well, the one time crypto mogul was convicted of illegally using client and lenders' money to pay for private planes, land in the Caribbean and bribes to Chinese officials. All right, federal agents found firearms during searches of Sean Diddy Combs properties in Los Angeles and Miami. Federal officials reportedly also interviewed three women and a man about sex trafficking, sexual assault, and illegal narcotics and firearms distribution allegations. Mm-hmm. You know, the usual things you hear about sure, at yeah, your yeah. favorite I heard they got party two, house. I heard they got two AKs, a 9 millimeter, and two dildo guns. <laughs> Homeland Security was executing <laughs> warrants on Monday when they seized the musician's phones in Miami. <laughs> That's bad. It's not clear what kind of firearms were found, although we did hear the two dildo uh, guns. <laughs> now, apparently, he's been, he was seen pacing outside the Opelika yeah. Airport while the raids were going on. An attorney for Combs, though, described the searches as, quote, gross overuse of military level force, right. end quote. That's what I'd say if I thought my guy was guilty. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff happening with that. Boy, 50's coming down on him again pretty hard. Is it really? Uh, he put out an AI-produced thing of Donald Trump like talking to him like he was like you know going and using the n-word and everything it was crazy (laughs) all right well closer to home an orlando city commissioner is in custody or actually is no longer in custody after uh, posting bail following allegations that she stole from (laughs) an elderly woman where did she get that money the fdle gave an update on the more than year-long investigation earlier today saying commissioner regina hill was arrested. She turned herself in this morning and has since posted bail and been released. Mm -hmm. Authorities say she used fake documents to gain power of attorney over the 96-year-old victim, who is also a constituent. This reportedly allowed her to buy the woman's home, obtain loans, and spend more than $10,000 of the victim's money on herself. More information is expected to come out at a news conference later on this afternoon. Great job, Commissioner. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. Yeah. Doing the people's work. Doing the people's work. Really. <laughs> Very good job. Jeez. God. We deserve better, man. Yeah, we do. Our community deserves better representation. We certainly do. That. And that's, uh, and you know what? That's regardless the key. of your party. Uh, regardless uh, of party. Uh, regardless of your party. Performance over party. Yes. Yeah. When yeah. you see it. Just you got to move on. Yeah. We, you got to make them pay for bad behavior. Right. Yep. Move on. They, they don't all get locked up. Sometimes I, it's it's shady legal stuff. Dude, I'm gonna say yeah. straight up. I, <laughs> when I see stuff like this, I yeah. my first thought process is this is why you got this job. To, yeah. to, I mean, I don't, yeah. maybe not this specific event, but it seems like to me you wanted the power to be able to take advantage and of the it. access. Yeah, the power and the access. All right, a trial is set for the lawsuit filed by Tyree Sampson's family after he fell to his death on a Central Florida amusement park ride a couple of years ago. This past Sunday, believe it or not, guys, marked two years since the 14-year-old died while here on spring break riding the Orlando Freefall attraction at Icon Park. Authorities say the teen seat was adjusted to fit larger guests. Sampson's family, who is being represented by National Civil Rights Attorney Ben Crump, is suing the ride maker for negligence. The trial is scheduled to begin on January 21st of next year. Wow. Yeah. Does it say what they're seeking in damages? Does I, it really give the number? It doesn't I give the number? No, I have not seen anything yeah. like that. All right. Leaders of a small Pinellas County airport are planning to talk about safety later this afternoon following last month's deadly crash. The Clearwater Air Park Advisory Board is expected to discuss adding a beacon to help pilots with visibility basically be a lighthouse for pilots. Okay. Because the proposal comes after a plane crashed into a nearby mobile home park back in February. You remember killing three yeah. people, two on the ground as well as the pilot. The NTSB says the pilot wasn't able to see the landing strip at the time of the accident, even though there were no storms or anything in the right. area. Yeah. Now, if the beacon is approved later today, get this. Multiple studies will take place before the project is signed off by the FAA. That makes sense. Right. Stick a light up there. Just I mean, I can <laughs> put a light on a pole, dude. I mean, what do you I mean? Jimmy will come out with some PVC and a really bright. Yeah, I got a couple a buddies that just duct tape a, a mag light to the top of something up there, guys. Let's get I don't know if you noticed, but planes diving into mobile home parks not cool. <laughs> That's, that's what I thought. I mean, I'm like, totally, really? You're going to make him wait that long? Just for the record, total investment of my project's like 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and that's with the beer. Right.
Exactly. Um, I don't. I to me, this looks like proof of just how Lakeland and that whole part of Central Florida is growing exponentially. And here it is: commercial passenger flights are coming back to Polk County. Wow, really? Um, Avello Airlines announced yesterday it'll start flying in and out of Lakeland Linder International Airport. Right. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> I think it one flight to Canada, Jack. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, not, one, I, that's one, not the closest country. One to Canada, one to PR. <laughs> okay, not quite that close yet. Flights to New Haven, Connecticut, though, are going to start in June. The flights will run twice a week on Thursdays and Sundays. Avello is the first airline to serve Lakeland in over a decade. Wow. Lakeland Mayor Bill Mutz says the city welcomes an exciting new era of travel, and this service uh, opens up a world of convenience. Let me tell you something, dude. Lakeland is a dope-ass little town. Yes. I mean, my my old man lives out that way, so I was out there a couple weeks ago or a few months ago having lunch and stuff, and I was driving around. It is a killer little city. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful city. Yep. Beautiful property around it. Gorgeous. Good for you guys. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it just shows the, how much it's growing. Oh, it is. It's nice out there. All right. Uh, so let's see what we have here. All right. Six Florida cities are among the best places to celebrate Easter in the U.S. That's according to a list from Wallet Hub, which includes a total of 100 cities across the country. The personal finance website compared the cities on 11 metrics, ranging from candy and chocolate stores per capita to the city's Christian population. Okay. Orlando was the highest ranking Florida city at number four. And the list also included Tampa, Miami, St. Petersburg, Jacksonville, and don't forget Hialeah. Oh, there you go, of course. The, <laughs> the Easter Mecca that is Hialeah. Exactly. <laughs> Gotta get ready to get egg hug. Yeah, Are you guys kind of surprised Orlando topped that up? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I was going to say it as a joke. Yeah, yeah. I, thought, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think Orlando Sorry, would be the, the biggest, but uh, yeah. I guess I would expect uh, something maybe farther north, more conservative I thought Jacksonville area. maybe. Yeah. In Jacksonville, Tallahassee would have timed it a little bit more. All right, uh, and I bring you this story. Let me check my timing because, yeah, no, we're going to skip that one. We, we are going to talk about, though, wine lovers are in good spirits today. Oh, I love drinking that wine. Good spirits. God, See what I you love, did there? I love drinking wine. Well, you're going to love yeah, this law I that, love it. that yeah. Governor Ron DeSantis signed today. Okay. Have, did you hear about this? All right, we're going to be drunks now? It's called the, it, the Individual Wine Consumption Law. And it uncorks limits. Uh -huh. hey. uh, yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. She can't be stopped. Uh -huh. Total pro. Uh-huh. Uh on uh, the sale of oversized wine bottles. Oh, that's right. I, I did read a little blurb about this today. So How De big are these things? DeSantis says he's happy to be cutting the red tape, barring businesses from selling wine bottles up to 15 liters or almost four gallons. Yeah, yeah. The law takes effect July 1st because of as of today... The commercial sale of individual wine containers larger than one gallon uh -huh. is a second-degree misdemeanor for the first offense and a third-degree felony after that. And the governor oh, yeah. is like, listen, you can buy these kinds of sizes of wine online. Right, yeah. Why shouldn't Florida retailers be making the money? Right, yeah, yeah. Soccer, mom, soccer moms rejoice. <laughs> I'm sorry. you People are buying uh, wine four gallons at a time. Four gallon Jack, bottles of wine. It sounded very judgy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know it very is. Very judgy, Jack. I know it is. But if Old I get, judgy Jack. If I get a discount on bourbon, I'd do it. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah. oh, well, there you, you can, go. Hey, you can buy a barrel. <laughs> yeah. You can legit Roll buy a barrel of bourbon that. if you want. I like how the bottles look up yeah, on yeah. my shelf. Get your, get your checks ready, buddy. I got to tell you. <laughs> they do not give how it to you. How much would that? It's a lot. I know that that's Jeff from Corona buys them like that to make his own blends, which, you know, that, I've always said that Maker's Mark blend that they build is one of the best ones I've ever had. Um, and he did not exactly tell me how much that he was, but a guy like Jeff has got a few bucks, did raise his eyebrows. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> which is good enough for me. Okay. Well, I know one thing that's going to make Jack happy. The 2024 MLB season officially underway hey, today. Let's go, Yankees. Oh, I should have worn I my thought, shirt. I thought you were going to say we added two hours of the workday. No. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Open Jesus day. I just love it here. It's the worst. <laughs> I, that's why I always forget my things when I leave. <laughs> I guess I got to stay. Jack goes to work at 3 and he's here at like 7.15. <laughs> Please don't make me go home. Texting from the station, Big Daddy. Daddy you go. can take my vacation days back. Thumbs up. Opening day features 26 MLB teams hitting the diamond. Looking forward to tonight at 730 when the Rangers open their World Series title defense at home against the Chicago Cubs. 
the NL champion Diamondbacks are looking to rebound from their loss at the Fall Classic as they battle the Colorado Rockies in Phoenix. Uh, bad weather is already wreaking havoc across the country, though, and the league as matchups between the Mets Brewers and Phillies Braves have been moved to Friday due to rain in the forecast. Mm -hmm. League officials expect City Field in Queens and Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia to undergo rainy conditions all day today. Yeah. And I believe it is a sold-out house at Tropicana for the race first day today. Nice. And then finally, if baseball's not your thing but NASCAR is, okay. book your tickets now to North Carolina. Okay, I'm super interested mm -hmm. about this. Yeah, because this, I mean, this is worth it. I know you, Jimmy. You're going to do a YouTube wormhole on this All bad boy. Right, well, hit me up. A racetrack in western North Carolina is looking into a decades old rumor. The North Wilkesboro Speedway says it may have discovered a possible moonshine cave under the stands during a routine inspection last week. The Speedway released a statement yesterday saying they haven't found any equipment, but they did come across an open space under Section N. That would be perfect to make illegal liquor. How many seats have been removed? Don't go too crazy. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll go 100. All right, Jack, how many would you say? 99. 600 seats. I win. Son of a bitch. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than when that guy loses. <laughs> Nothing. 600 <laughs> seats have been removed as crews try to figure out their next steps ahead of the NASCAR All-Star Race. Uh, our stall week race, and that's in May. Right, right, right. So they've got to figure out what is it. Right. What that's, do we do with it? <laughs> that would be like a historic thing, would it not? I would think I would it would think be. And look, you have to figure, like, there's probably about five of those states in that area that probably have a bunch of these undiscovered little cubby hidey areas for for a shine as they were kind of moving that stuff back and forth. Well, do you ever watch that reality show? No, the, no, the no. Sh oh, you got to yeah. watch that. Yeah, the characters there are pretty bombastic. That's a good time yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. That's a good time. And now you all are officially woke. Thanks, Deb. 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Remember, if you want to leave a talk back, you can do that as well. Just get the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it. Use that microphone to send it on down the line. I want to ask you guys when we get back if a candidate's name makes a difference on whether they're electable or not. Mm. It's an interesting thing, and I'll tell you about it in one sec. Real Radio it, 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 it is. The Monsters in the Morning. Did you ever Sorry. make a joke at TSA? No. I did it one time. I made it, I, they were laughing their ass off. I, I was going through, and I said, hey, I've got leader hose, and it makes my nipples chafe. And, and man, they were wow. laughing. I mean, couldn't stop laughing. They thought that was the funniest thing I ever heard in their life. Scared douche. The Monsters in the Morning. Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center. Cooltoday.com. Hey there, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast for the rest of our Thursday. And today we'll actually see a lot of improvements. It will be a bit on the gusty side, but once these showers pass through, we'll begin to dry things out for our Thursday afternoon with temperatures warming to near 80 degrees. Sunshine will also be on the increase as we head into the weekend, though. It will be beautiful. Mid 70s for our highs on Friday, low 80s for Saturday and Sunday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. We tend not to think about right now, but right now in front of us is victory over cancer. Right now, cancer research funded by the V Foundation is leading to better treatments and saving lives. When you give to the V Foundation, 100% of your donation goes directly to game-changing cancer research. Victory over cancer is there for the taking by you. Donate at V.org because today's cancer research is tomorrow's victory. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navaj has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was 
from the first use, I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navaj helps me clear the way, literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navaj difference yourself. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navaj, N-A-V-A-G-E. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Regulated activities performed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. They were so helpful, answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids' college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses, or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-607-9400 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 800-607-9400. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. What sets International Diamond Center apart from those big box jewelry chain stores? The problem with big chain stores is that they're all run by corporate. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. That means the people at the store level just plain don't care much. At IDC, you're not dealing with a bunch of retail clerks. You're working with a true jewelry professional who's not on commission and not beholden to a bunch of corporate dictated rules and policies. When you're in the big corporate world, everybody operates out of a manual or a big book of rules. At IDC, we don't have a manual telling our people how to deal with customers. We empower our people to take care of those customers in the way they would want to be taken care of. Get the respect, guidance, professionalism, and genuine care you deserve from people who put you first. We tell them point blank, do whatever it takes to make the customer happy, period. International Diamond Center, locally owned, internationally connected. We want them to take care of you, protect you, and make it the best experience that you could possibly have. International Diamond Center for Orlando locations and always at shopidc.com.
you can watch radio being made on a daily basis at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. All right, welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. That's how you call the show if you'd like to do that. You can also text us at 77031. Leave us a talk back if you want. That's easy as well. Just a little recording of your thought. Just get the iHeartRadio app. It's free. And uh, then go to Real Radio. Once you get it, use that little microphone to send your comment on down the line. Uh, top of the hour, we'll have Danny Meyering in for Date Night Done Right. We'll do Colbert Court next hour as well. And then, of course, in the 5 o'clock hour, our friend Tella Luna from uh, Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill out there at the Rosen Plaza coming by to talk about our new Sip and Savor event coming up in just a couple weeks. And this thing is bombastic. <laughs> I mean, it is crazy. These things are so much fun. And the price, I, I've said it, and I said it when we used to do them before, pre-pandemic, uh, for a tasting menu event, this is, and it's not even close it's the best price you'll see in the city. It's the best per person price for food and drink this quality that you'll find in the city of Orlando. And that's why these things sell out almost instantaneously. Uh, the experience is amazing. The setting is amazing. The chef is great. It is going to be a blast. And I'm so happy uh, that Marianne Kaplan, our rep out there, he went out there and just got this business back and and got this event back because it was so cool for us to do that. Right. Um, we did it when we first started the show. It was a lot of fun. And uh, looking forward to firing those back up. You are going to enjoy every single bite, I promise. Uh, welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack is as well. I think we enjoy the bites. They enjoy the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so um, over in Missouri, uh, there is some trouble brewing. And it's not trouble, really. It's just a bunch of political you know, posturing and stuff. But uh, the IVF and the anti-IVF uh -huh. uh, stuff has really made an impact on politics. People yeah, it's flipped a seat. Yeah, specifically with Republicans, it has made a really big impact on how Republicans are viewed. Now, with the when you when you pair this up with the overturning of Roe versus Wade, and then with the Alabama decision on IVF, um, it has really put a focus on this type of legislation in America, you know, pre-election. And that's where one of the seats was recently flipped was in Alabama. Yes. A GOP seat went Democratic, and it was based on her uh, campaign of public health and IVF. And that sent up a red flag uh, down ballot because a lot of people in a lot of areas in states like Alabama are kind of wondering, hey, man, you know, a lot of people aren't saying stuff. I wonder what they're going to say at the ballot box. Well, now we know at least what one county in a very, very red state said. Uh, they kind of fought back a little bit. Well, this is happening again, and it, it involves one person we know quite well, old running Josh Hawley. Oh, uh, old, old running run, man, old, run, old running Josh Hawley up there, you know, and um, uh, treason weasel, uh, Missouri, uh, Missouri Republican. Uh, you know, Josh doesn't, you know, he makes no bones about it. You know, he's very vocal. And, you know, you see him at these uh, the house meetings where he's just jumping in people's asses and, you know, questioning uh, everybody. And he's doing his job. You know, they love him up there. And uh, and it is kind of funny, though, because. With this IVF thing, people are kind of wondering. Of course, he takes a pretty hard hard approach to it. A lot of those real deep South Republicans do that. And, um, you know, and, and most of the people who are voters up there just kind of, they, they're fine with it because they like these people so much because they stand up for all the other things that the Republicans in those areas believe in that they have any problem. And really, this has nothing to do with it. It's just that he's actually being um, uh, challenged by somebody. But the problem is, is look, man. This should never come into play. Like, a candidate's name should never come into play. Can we say that that's true? Right? In other words, if your name sounds kind of, you know, if, if it's kind of funny or or maybe has a, a you know. A, Just like looks shouldn't come into yeah, play. Yeah, you're right. None of that should come into play. But but, but the person. Right, exactly, <laughs> but. But the person that's hoping to flip Holly's Senate seat coming in November is named Luke Kuntz. What? Luke Kuntz is the guy's name. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas Kuntz, K-U-N-C-E, is wow. challenging Holly there in Missouri. And it's so funny because when I saw the story, I was like, you know, you should never vote not for you should never not vote for somebody because of their name you just want to be real <laughs> but, careful about vocalizing your support but, but i saw that name and i was like oh man yeah, that's, no. that's gonna be a tough one and considering <laughs> the considering the subject matter buddy that's gonna be a tough one 
Uh, but yeah, that's a big story right now, and that's a, that is going to have a gigantic effect on the national election and uh, down ballot as well. And when you read about how that's kind of being perceived in all states, regardless of their you know normal political affiliation, some of that stuff just reaches out a little too far for people, uh, women and men for that matter. And uh, they're expecting some blowback and actually trying to figure out how to kind of repackage that idea uh, as they get out there on the campaign trail. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be very fun. Going to be an interesting year, man. Oh. Buckle up. Going to be an interesting year. Take your Ambien now. That's right. 407-916-1041. <laughs> uh, Text us at 77031. Don't forget, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, the Monster Brew Bus goes on sale. And, again, this is another one of those situations where it's a limited seating scenario, and it's very affordable, so it sells out very quickly. Uh, Jack, I know we have a we have a thing set up on our site. Yeah, realradio.fm slash brew. You can get all the information right now. And tomorrow at 10, that is where you will get the link to be able to purchase your tickets. Uh, I think it was like 10 minutes last year when uh, that they sold out. So, oh. it, yeah, it went fast. Yeah. There, Again, it's very affordable. It's really not that much money. There's and you, 45 seats available. Right, and you go to oh, three yeah. breweries. You get to hang out with the guys all day long. So it's very, very approachable and fun. Who doesn't like to drink beer and ride around on a Saturday in a bus? With me. With, with Jack Bradshaw. <laughs> complaining about how much it cost. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm doing that. Are you bringing that. snacks? Uh, we have Jersey Mike's providing box lunches for Ooh, everyone. Damn, nice. that's awesome. Oh, oh, it's so great. Who picks the playlist? And last time, it was me. You play, so, You are the DJ for yeah, the bus? I, I was. With Angel on it? Yeah. How'd you manage that? Because it, actually, Russ. Oh, you got to pay that guy. Russ made a playlist. Oh, but God. He had trouble connecting. <laughs> right? Oh, God. He, <laughs> How many he, Kissing Striper songs can you hear in one trip? He <laughs> had trouble connecting to the Bluetooth, but I could. And <laughs> I. I was sitting up front, so I just connected. So I was just wor- ripping off of my playlist. I'm, I'm not laughing. I'm laughing because that's something I would certainly do. I yeah, yeah, yeah. this awesome playlist. <laughs> hey, where do I plug my tape in? But <laughs> I mean, I would have had one made for it, but instead I was just ripping through songs oh, what yeah. I had, and I was jumping around. There's a lot good. of hip hop in Depeche Mode. He yeah. loves all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big yeah. fan. Yeah. No Toby Keith. Yeah. <laughs> no kiss. You know. All right. That's uh, it. Was right. oh, by the way. Shout out to Owasi's Meat Market. They're the sponsor of the Brew Bus this year. As I mentioned, Jersey Mike's always coming up big with our lunches, and we can't wait to heat, hit these three breweries. Yeah. And uh, Angel, Ryan, and, of course, uh, Russ will be there as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it, it's a lot of fun, April 13th, but you go to realradio.fm slash brew. There well, you go. Here's the question. Are you going to have any Yacht Rock, Captain Yacht Rock? Well, on see, the I don't bus? know. I, I think... I think Russ is determined uh-huh. to take over the DJ duties. <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is a monster brew run, so I will defer to him on that. Hey, if people pay $10 extra, can they play their own music? <laughs> <laughs> like, I would be willing to throw in 50 to keep him away from it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Our buddy Danny Meyering up next for Date Night Done Right. Let's find out what's happening in O-Town this weekend. It's like a text message. With your voice, the talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Heavy traffic continues on I-4 in the Orlando area between US-27 and the 429. Delays reported through downtown between Parr Street and Robinson Street. Looking at a good ride both north and southbound for those who need to take the turnpike this afternoon. No major delays to report for those on the 408. If you run into traffic problems, make sure you're calling the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Healthcare. Whenever you need us, just reach out and we'll be there with more locations, more experts, and more resources to deliver the healthcare you need to comfort you and make you feel your best. Find a care site near you at hcafloridahealthcare.com. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. Business owners, had enough of this yet? Are you just done and ready to retire? 
Is money tight? Or maybe business is at an all-time high. You have options. Don't just walk away. We can help you sell, retire, and just relax no matter what your situation is. Hi, I'm Andy Cagnetta, and at Transworld Business Advisors, we've been selling businesses for over 40 years. And with offices located around the world, we have thousands of buyers ready to buy your business now. Don't wait until the last minute or try to do it yourself. That is a recipe for disaster. Call for a confidential conversation about your business's current value and how Transworld can maximize your eventual selling price. We will help you win. And in the current climate, you need help to sell your business. Call Transworld at 833-SELL-FLA or visit tworld.com. That's 833-SELL-FLA or visit tworld.com. Get an alarm clock! Get a rooster! Kane's Super Saturday Sale starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. Prepare to lose your mind. This Saturday for one day only, Kane's goes all the way. Everything's on sale. Over $40 million in furniture. The whole Japan. Brand new sofas from $499. Dining rooms from $299. Three-piece beds from $299. Come on! Plus, special financing store-wide. Call the cops. This is stealing. It's Super Saturday at Kane's. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. This Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., it's Super Saturday at Kane's. Doors open at 10 a.m. Kane's. You won't find it for less. Kane's. Super Saturday. Kings, Kings, Kings. Join a one-night spring edition of Harry's Sip and Saver, April 6th, 6.30 at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, 9840 International Drive, featuring mixology and culinary arts. Harry'sPoolside.com slash Harry's Sip and Saver. People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's Spicy Chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Stalker with a shot! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Duncan McGuire! Orlando City is back at home this Saturday, March 30th at 7.30 p.m., taking on the New York Red Bulls. Join us at Intern Coast Stadium for Kids Night Out that will be full of mascots, video games, cartoons, and outright silliness as we celebrate the next generation of MLS fans with a special night dedicated to our youngest fans. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. 
Hi, welcome to Ikea and our spring storage event. Oh, hi. Save big on storage with lots of new lower prices and limited time offers. Perfect. I'm making the winter to spring swap and I have no idea where to put my sweaters and gloves. <laughs> we can help you get organized and store winter away. And we've got in-store events for more inspiration. Sign me up. Visit us in-store from 320 to 49 or at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for more details. Offer valid dates may vary. U.S. only while supplies last. Selection may vary by store and online. See store on ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for complete terms. Restrictions apply. At Nissan, we make cars the thrill. Experience the thrill for yourself today. Shop nissanusa.com. Discover the new Buick SUVs in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Kaufman and Lind, find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM, HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. You probably don't know this or care, but we have web goals. So go to jimcolbertlive.com and look at stuff. Da! Yankees win! The Yankees win! Congrats, Jack. Welcome back to the Jim Cover Show, Real Radio 104.1, 407, 916, 1041. Text us at 77. Zero three one. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack is here. Hello. Let's do date nights done right. Whether you're dating and in love or married and in a fight, keep your romance shining bright. This is date night done right. Good and loud for our friend Danny Myring from Yay. Orlando. Day night. Yay. <laughs> What's up, kid? <sighs> It's been a, a really interesting, really weird week. It has been yeah. an <laughs> unbelievably odd week. Yeah. No, no question at all. How are you doing? Though? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm doing good. I, I actually, I have a question for you all to start with. Ooh. All right. Fire if away. By the way, by the way real quick, before we get going, Danny Myring appears courtesy of OrlandoDateNightGuide.com. I sure do. Thank you. So uh, would you consider like Nona Orlando? Yes, of course I would. Okay. Thank you. So we've been getting like the GPS commenters again. On our Instagram, saying that like Lake Nona is not. Oh, we did a hidden bars in Orlando reel, yeah, which included a place in Lake Nona, and apparently that's not Orlando for oh, people. Oh no, it's, that's that's Orlando. <laughs> Get out of here. I mean, that's Orlando. Listen, if you're in or if you're in Orange County, if you're in Orange County, you're in Orlando, uh, yeah. regardless of where that is. I mean, yeah, you know, Seminole County is still outside of Orlando. Osceola County is just outside of Orlando. But if you're in Orange County, you are in Orlando. Yeah, but even Lake Nona, it's, it, I don't believe it's unincorporated Orange County. Didn't they annex it to part of Orlando? Yeah, I think I, so. I believe it officially. Yeah. I think it is officially Orlando. Oh, because snap, snap. <laughs> you know, that doesn't matter, though. You know that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. That's the push now to annex <laughs> even more land right. in it's, East Orange County. That's how I knew that Lake Nona okay. was because yeah. they said, oh, like N- Lake Nona. Exactly, because they want to make that the city of Orlando, too. And to some people, it's just downtown yeah. and that downtown and the area around downtown, and that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. It's not, not even close. Well, and so, like, I have kind of almost, it's almost become like a canned response and so the, the cute version of of it is we don't limit ourselves to city limits when it comes to great date ideas. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Thank Excellent. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Take that, your hate and <laughs> shove it. That, that's how you get the big chair. Yeah, that is. That's exactly yeah. right. <laughs> All right, Danny, All right. What, what is happening this weekend? It's supposed to have some beautiful weather, by the way. Yes. I mean, beautiful Ooh. weather. Perfect. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm rocking my NASA shirt because I was excited about the rocket launch today. It did get yeah. scripted tomorrow. Um, so if you're able to head out to the Space Coast to be part of that and you want to deal with that traffic, go for it, be my guest. Uh, but, of course, it's uh, it's Easter weekend, so there are a ton of Easter brunches and Easter dinners and egg hunts and so forth. So... We've got the brunch guide and the dinner guide at OrlandoDateNightGuide.com and the Easter egg hunts and the Easter bunny guides at Orlando-Parenting.com. And so I wanted to highlight a couple of the really unique Easter brunches because I'm telling you, we are so lucky here in Orlando to have the amount of options that we have. Yeah, that's true. We have these incredible, like, world-class resorts. And some of them do get a little pricey, so I like I kind of narrowed it down to the ones that are relatively affordable or unique. Okay. Um, so one of them would be the um, AC Sky Bar, which is in downtown Orlando. It's on the 16th floor of the AC Hotel. Nice. And so it's rooftop. 
and it overlooks, you know, you've got, of course, you've got I-4, like, right there. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, you know. <laughs> that makes your, by Danny's the way, that, like, don't want to hear it. That makes your eggs taste better. Right. <laughs> All the carbon monoxide, so good. A little extra sulfur. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, the Easter Bunny's gonna be uh, gonna be there, hopefully uh, holding on to his big old heavy head with the, the winds being up there. Uh, but that one's, you know, it's family friendly. It's relatively affordable. That one is on Sunday from 11 a.m. to and uh, also at 1 p.m. They're doing two different seatings, and it's forty dollars for that brunch for adults well, that's and uh, twenty dollars for kids. Oh, it's, that's that's cheap. Yeah, that's for, very affordable. And it's not like you're going to Golden Crow. Right, like, it's right, gonna, right. It's nice. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be be nice uh so then also for flamingos at hyatt grand cypress one of our favorite ones this one is going to be florida inspired of course they've got a carving station small plate entrees a bloody mary bar which Hello. is going to be beautiful. you know that's going to be beautiful property too by the way just out there just being out there on a beautiful sunday afternoon and mm-hmm. around that property is gorgeous and it, it is it is a nice place we had dinner there it's beautiful nice good food yeah um, and so that one's Sunday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, that one's a little pricier, uh, but $95 for adults and kids are $45. Now, here's where we get into um, something really re- I think is truly unique. The Universal Orlando Hotels all do Easter brunch, and each one has entertainment. So my favorite one is uh, Lowe's Royal Pacific is going to have a ukulele player, a hula dancer, and a face painter. Um, and then you've got major order stir fry. You've got a sur- sushi station, raw bar, five spice roasted duck, like just delicious offerings. And I there. believe the Royal Pacific was just voted one of the favorite hotels out there on property. Just oh, I, I'm sure. I, yeah, it is. It is really revered out there for people who travel around and come here. That's the one that they talk about the most when it comes to Universal property. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, and then uh, Hard Rock uh, over there as well is going to have live rock music um, at their Easter brunch. And Sapphire Falls is going to have a steel drum player. That's kind of the Caribbean oh, nice. one. Um, also, the Hard Rock Hotel in Daytona Beach is going to have their buffet. And it's $75, but it includes the mimosa or the champagne. Oh, nice. Unlimited, oh, yeah. baby. That's, so, that's how you need right. it. Hey, you Get, pay attention to that. That's where you're going to find Danny. You know what i got to tell you? There is no better city to be champagne <laughs> hammered at 115 <laughs> than Daytona. No better. Because here's the thing. You stumble out. It's drunk. You're in your suit. You know, uh, you don't know where your kids are. And you fit right into Daytona. <laughs> you just blend right in and just keep walking on the sidewalk. There's five other people just happen to be out there with the same exact situation. Hell, we had a couple from Georgia travel all the way here <laughs> right. just to do that. Yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> just let the kids pass out and run, randomly wander into pools. Yeah, exactly. Oh, boy. <laughs> and you got the trucks going by right there on the strip. Oh, yeah. You know, that's sure. going to be great when you're feeling nice and loose oh, yeah. from from all that champagne <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely uh so we do send our newsletter out every thursday um and of course this week's uh, edition was all easter focused so if you're not signed up for that you can do so on orlando date night guide.com or orlando hyphen parenting.com so let's get in some of the uh other stuff that's not easter on saturday at lou gardens is another dog day in the gardens <laughs> so they don't normally allow dogs into lou gardens uh but they're gonna have kind of a dog party on saturday from 9 a.m to 3 p.m each dog will receive a special goodie bag okay. of their very own with a Lou's Garden, Lou Garden's bandana. Nice. So. <laughs> That's cool. That's a good place to meet someone. Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you bring your dog. That's they right. bring their dog. Mm. You end up with the cute That's meat right. situation going on. Could be like Lady in the Tramp. Right. It could. Behind one Dalmatian. And then you Look just get to be the tramp <laughs> at the end of the day. You make out behind the hydrangea <laughs> while your dogs hump over by the fountain. <laughs> it's awesome. Romance. Uh, so <laughs> you do have to have a ticket for such a situation. Uh, and it's $15 for adults, $10 for kids, and $5 for the doggy. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Oh, well, man, we're, we're getting there. Dog entry fees. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> we're getting there, guys. That's what kind of town Orlando is. <laughs> Remember when they used to be charming and you let them in for nothing? No. No more kids. Uh, it's also blueberry uh, season starting yeah. in Florida, so it's a good time oh. to do uh, you pick. The blueberries are not yeah. as easy to pick as the strawberries, but they are uh, they are worth it. They are good stuff. So we do have, of course, a full list at uh, Orlando Date Night Guide of all of those. A couple of our favorites are Amberbrook Farms and right. Eustis. 
and Southern Hill Farms. They uh, those blueberry donuts, man, and are let me, legendary. And let me tell you, this time of year when we have strawberries and, and blueberries coming to season, a lot of the local restaurants that have mm. access to that, mm-hmm. uh, they will curtail their menu and create blueberry uh, desserts, like the one that I just had at Boxer and Clover. It was mm. a, just a simple blueberry cobbler, but my God Almighty, was it good? Because the blueberries are so fresh. And they're still plump, and they have so much <laughs> juice in them. They're so good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, you'll get angry at like at oh. the grocery store. Yeah. You know, when you go pick up, you do your you pick, and then you compare to what you get out of the grocery store. Yeah, it's like what not, the heck? Not man. even close. I know. <laughs> and it costs less. Like, granted, you gotta work to pick your blueberries when you go to the you pick. Sure. But, you know, it's all part of the fun. It is. But like, it costs less doing it there than it does yeah. going to the. One of the best things for you, too, by the way. It's funny because I used to always, not really liked blueberries. They always seemed kind of mealy and just Mm -hmm. not with a lot of flavor Mm -hmm. until I went to a You Pick and Blueberry farm, and the size of the blueberries alone was amazing. (laughs) And then the sweetness. Oh, such a good blueberry bread, blueberry Mm. pancakes Mm. to make Mm. out of those. So they say blueberries are a superfood, right? It's it's one of those things that are just great for you. And I never, I couldn't eat them just on their own, but. Like I had them today, I put you put them on cereal. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. If, you, if you had the right cereal, yeah. handful of blueberries, boom, and you're sneaking the superfood in. Oh, pancakes are so good. <laughs> Dig it. So good. Need to bring you some, some you pick blueberries. You'll be eating those by the handful. You know what makes makes them really good is a handful of sugar and some heavy cream. Oh, there yeah. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That makes some them... ice cream and then whipped cream and then chocolate syrup on that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then but the... it's still a superfood. And, yeah, ch- and then ch- watch the blueberries fight the cream for your life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Cherries a fruit. Throw one on top. Yeah, that's there right. There you go. Uh, so let's let's talk about something a little more self care than perhaps some no. ice cream. Uh, and this is going to be next week a spring fling at the Ritz Carlton Spa. It's happening on Sunday, April seventh, from one to seven p.m. Hello. The reason why I love this idea is this is a it's a six hour event. You can stay the whole time. And they have three different tiers. So it's $125, $225, or $325. Each of those that you go up the scale, you get, like, a better service. Right, yeah, yeah. But then you've got access to the entire spa that whole time, like the steam room, the pool, the sauna, all that lovely gorgeousness. Then they're going to have a vendor showcase starting at 3 and then complimentary hors d'oeuvres and champagne from 5 to 7. Damn! Yes. And then so you'll like, find me sleeping by the pool right. from 7 to 9. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Ain't no shame in that. But yeah, it's a heck of a deal considering like that's about the price of just yeah. doing a service on its own. But yeah. then during this event on Sunday, April 7th, you're getting like all this extra stuff. Oh, yeah. So we we'll be there club. with me and my husband. Oh, nice. So, yeah, we're going to. Sorry, we have a little Colombian woman passed out face down with a cigarette in her hand. <laughs> seat six. <laughs> they're gonna, they'll it's, be seeing some different types there than perhaps yeah. they're used to. <laughs> that cherry's pretty close to her fingers, guys. This is got to get over there. <laughs> this is a safety alert. Uh, you do have to make reservations for that one over the phone. And then another event that's happening next week to kind of tell you about, we'll wrap up with this, is uh, the Taste of Baldwin Park. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's happening on Thursday, April 4th, yeah. and uh, 530 to 730. That's a really, really good event. You know, if you've never been down to Baldwin Park, I you know, I lived there for a couple of years. It is just a really cool little Mayberry-esque kind of part yeah, of town. Yeah. And the cool thing is, is once you park, and by the way, there's plenty of parking. Don't let anybody tell you there's not. There's plenty of parking on the side of those roads. And you walk a few blocks, and there's food everywhere. There's drinks everywhere. Mm-hmm. Bring the kids down. Plenty of shops. Just a really cool place to spend a couple evenings or an evening. And I know this is only a couple hours long anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's always been a blast. I've been to like five of these things, oh. and they're always a blast. Yeah, absolutely. Some great talented restaurants down that For way. Sure, great yeah. brewery. Uh, and so that's on Thursday, April 4th, 5.30 to 7.30. And tickets uh, start at $65. They're going to have live music and uh, all kinds of really cool stuff going on there. Yeah, so yeah. definitely uh, put that on your calendar for next week. And usually the restaurant lineup is pretty darn good. I mean, if they just featured the restaurants there in Baldwin, they'd have a pretty good event. Yeah, but uh, they bring in some others there, and they do a good job. They always I mean, that, that management group there knows what they're doing. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Well, thank you. It's always good seeing you. Yeah. You guys give it up good and loud for Danny Meyer. Yay! Yay! By the way, if you missed any of this, JimCorporateLive.com will have it right there on the goods. And, of course, if you want any other ideas, like the one she mentioned earlier, some of the Easter stuff and some of the brunch stuff, OrlandoDateNightGuy.com and Orlando-Parenting.com. There you go. Thanks, Danny. Always good seeing you.
Thank you. You, you got too. it. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Date Night Done Right is brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don. Oh. Mortgage brokers are better. Why? They do all of their loans through national wholesale lenders. It'll still be your standard FHA, VA, or conventional loan, but they have access to dozens of wholesale banks competing for your business. And government studies prove buyers save $9,400 on average with a mortgage broker. That Mortgage Guy Don will give you a comparison quote today. Just go to thatmortgageguydon.com. It's peace of mind at your fingertips. So don't miss the boat. Compare your quote at that mortgageguidon.com. Guys here in Central. Don't miss the boat, compare your quote with that mortgageguidon.com. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. Clausmanlaw.com. Slow traffic continues on I-4 this afternoon, east and westbound on the interstate for drivers traveling by the major attractions exits. Looking at a crash with roadblock causing delays at Conroy Windermere and Dr. Phillips Boulevard. Another crash with reported roadblock at the intersection of Narcusi and Kirby Smith Road. If you see traffic problems today, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Healthcare. Whenever you need us, just reach out and we'll be there with more locations, more experts, and more resources to deliver the health care you need to comfort you and make you feel your best. Find a care site near you at hcafloridahealthcare.com. Ooh, man, here in Central Florida, you hear us talk about it all the time, these weather. Man, this roller coaster that we have in Central Florida for weather is incredible. It'll be like 74, 75 today, and then like 88 next week. That is why you need Mills Air on your side. These guys have been in Central Florida for like 30-plus years, just making sure everybody has a reliable air conditioning system that they can lean on every time it gets hot. And in Florida, that could be any day. Let these guys take care of you. If you think your system may be teetering, may be on the edge of making it or not making it, you got to get that preventive maintenance plan. They can take care of you. Their techs know all all the brands don't even worry about what kind of AC you have. And even better, these guys are carrier factory authorized dealers. If you do need a new unit, how about up to $1,275 in rebates towards that brand new carrier unit? You can always turn to the experts at Carrier and certainly turn to the experts at family owned and operated Mills Air. Call these guys today and schedule your appointment. It's 407 277 1159. Make it online at millsair.com. Divorce? Call Trendley and Kramer. TK Law. One firm for life. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Tesla Apprentilast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval crhill.com for details life's a constant swirl of shopping groceries clothes gifts the occasional self-care splurge you know how it is that's why you should get the drop app with drop you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards last year i scored 150 dollars in gift cards alone make sure to use code drop 23 when you sign up and get five dollars in drop points that's drop 23 get rewarded for shopping and download drop now for free on the app store or google play Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. Now Hard Rock Bet is legal in Florida. Now Hard Rock Bet is legal in Florida. Legal in Florida. It's safe, it's legal. We'll repeat that it is legal. Top betting sportsbook and it's the only one that's legal. 
get a no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1-888-ADMITTED. It's the Nissan Thrill of the Tribe sales event at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Score 0% financing on popular models like Rogue with no payments till 2025. And close out pricing on remaining 2023s. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Click OrlandoNissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See dealer for details. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. A picture is worth a thousand words, but a video is priceless. I'm attorney Mo DeWitt, and we have access to every single traffic camera in the state of Florida. Injured on the go, just call Mo, Orlando's injury attorneys. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. We are connected internationally. We have relationships in the diamond industry that go back decades. Sources all over the world. International Diamond Center's owner, Keith LeClaire, explains how IDC always offers to beat anyone else's price on a diamond. We buy direct from the cutters, we pay cash, and we just don't believe in typical jewelry store markups. With his background as a wholesaler, Keith says IDC's business model is based on lower margins and higher volume. We're not here to sell you something for a quick buck. So it comes down to better sourcing and and low markups. That's why we guarantee the best value price. If you're buying a diamond engagement ring or any fashion jewelry, come experience a refreshing alternative to the typical jewelry experience at IDC. We're here to offer the right price on every piece of jewelry that you buy from IDC. Real value from real people. We'd rather make a little bit and keep you as a customer than make a lot of it and lose you as a customer. International Diamond Center, all four Orlando locations and online shopidc.com. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move the Six podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in, and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. We are professional grade at Orange Buick GMC. Online at orangebuickgmc.com. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine accident attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Hey, so apparently Facebook is still a thing. Search gym members and join our group. Hey, Colbert gang. Leg Nona is Orlando. The lady next door called the cops on us at the job site for blocking her mailbox with a truck. City of Orlando police showed up. Well, that's yeah. definitive proof that. Yeah, yeah. I guess somebody said something even in their uh, city. Even in the late known as um, uh, information packet or something about that, it says, you know, Orlando, Florida. Then somebody asked me about Christmas, Florida. And Christmas also is in Orlando because it's in Orange County. Now, it's really out there. Like, Bithlo is still Orlando. It's Orange County. Is it re- yeah, man. I mean, it's out there. There's no question, but it's still Orange County. I mean, I would still well, consider Bithlo Orlando. Not all of Orange County is Orlando. 
But isn't that yeah, what yeah. they're pushing for? Because of the unincorporated things, is that what you're talking about? Because right. Seminole County does the same thing. I've lived in unincorporated Seminole County, and I live right around the corner from here. And right. it was unincorporated. You, you could live in Orange County and not be in Orlando. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you're right. Okay. Yeah, so, you're right. You're right. right. But, the, but what we said earlier, though, was if you are in Orange County, mostly, most people, if you're talking about it, would say, I live in Orlando. So, yeah, that's the that's the, the idea, yeah, right? Yeah, the general area. Yeah, but, I mean, as far as for those people who like to be very particular about it right and they say well fact of the matter is it's right. technically not orlando like lake nona actually is technically right. orlando so i live in geneva but if you ask if people ask me if i'm out and around where do i live i say orlando because i live within the orlando area and if i say geneva oh. they're not going to have a clue where that is yeah i do the same when you're traveling it's yeah, like, yeah you're exactly yeah. yeah you say in, 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 anywhere i mean even if i'm here in florida and tampa or jackson yeah. i'm in orlando yeah yeah you know i mean that's that's nope. the general area and then I just isolate it. Go, you know where Sanford is? They go, no. And I go, it's been good seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of move on because I'm bored with it already. All right, 407-916-1041. We do have a Colbert Court coming up in just a second. Do you remember the doctor that uh, Glenn brought in that deals with uh, CTE and stuff? We did that um, a few, well, probably about a year and a half ago. Uh, he was via Zoom. Uh, Glenn was trying to get him in again today. Was not be able, not, not able to do that. But we're really looking forward to that. Hopefully, it'll be next week. Uh, because man, what we're kind of finding out is like, you know, people have and are dealing with, you know, with head trauma they've had years ago, and it's kind of starting to kind of um, manifest itself in certain behaviors and, and and things. You know, kids who played, you know, pop Warner football. You know, of course, I'm not saying there's a I don't believe there is an influx of this. So I don't want people to think I'm like, you know, I that, I believe, that I believe that everybody who played football is going to have this. But, you know, there 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 is some really unique information now being kind of culled out of science that shows that maybe that's having a much more great effect on your long term mental well-being than thought originally. You know, wow, that uh, they're seeing that CTE is starting to show its head. And there was just a case here recently. Uh, it was one of these terrible scenarios where somebody did something really horrific and, and and just like that football player said, hey, you know, please study my brain, you know, because something's here and I don't know what's going on. And this goes back years. Do you remember the the, um, the shooting towers at Kent, Kent State University? No, that was the National Guard. You're thinking of, was it? Texas A&M? Uh, yeah, it was in Texas. Texas A&M yeah. with Whitman. the former, yes. Whitman. I believe. Who's it, buried here in Florida. Yeah, Charles or Whitman. his wife is. I believe the guy is. And he and he climbed to the top of a, a tower on the, the university. Uh, tower. And basically started shooting people, and, you know, from this clock tower. And uh, he killed quite a few people. Uh, I want to say maybe double digits there. And then wound up getting taken out by the cops. But I believe the note that he left basically said, hey, please, don't know why I'm doing this. You know, kind of study what's going on because I have no clue why I'm doing this. Uh, James Huberty, I believe, that shot up that McDonald's uh, years and years ago, kind of had some of that as well. Could not understand where the anger and stuff was coming from. So hopefully we can have that doctor on in a few weeks and uh, talk to him about that. And if people have issues they're dealing with or maybe their kids or friends have issues, uh, that we can maybe get a little bit more light shined on what they can do. And you're right. It is uh, Charles Joseph Whitman, also known as the Texas Tower Sniper. Yeah. Uh, back in 1966, it was the University of Texas uh, at Austin, actually. Yeah. Um, and his, um, I believe he's he's buried at, in West Palm Beach. Is he really? Yeah. I know that was, uh, there's there's a lot of footage of that as well. Yes. Uh, of what was happening, because I think it was one of the first ones of these, you know, these mass shooting things. I remember where people was just like, what the hell's going on? Like, nobody knew why. There seemed to be no rhyme or reason. And then it turned out there was no rhyme or reason. Right. Whitman killed a total of 16 people. Yeah. The 16th victim died 35 years later from injuries sustained in the attack. Wow. Yeah, it was a total plan thing. Walked up the tower. Yep. I think shot the woman that was uh, guarding the tower there or whatever, bl- barricaded it, and then went up there and uh, took an arsenal up there and just went crazy. That was after killing his mother yeah. and his wife yep. in their respective home. Yep. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Our buddy Glenn Clausman's up next with Colbert Court. We'll do that right after this. Real Radio is the news channel.
Junkie. Something is coming back into popularity that has not been popular for a very long time. Sean Wells. What? <laughs> How dare you? My Daddy. popularity remains at an all-time high. The News Junkie. Weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Hi, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Thursday. And we've seen some morning showers and a few rumbles of thunder. These will continue through a roughly midday. Once these showers come to an end, we're expecting a much better forecast for the second half of our Thursday. Temperatures will warm into the mid to upper 70s with increasing sunshine. For our Friday, temperatures will be mild but pleasant, warming into the mid and upper 70s under sunny skies. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This this report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoked irresistible perfection, like our Bones Bar Bites menu, with wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones, meat is what we do. Dine in only at the bar. Make the most of your spring break. Visit the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, the only place where you can meet an astronaut. Touch a moon rock, stand nose to nose with a real space shuttle Atlantis. And if you haven't seen that yet, guys, I'm telling you, uh, that's about as American as you can feel right there. Simply amazing. That's why the Jim Colbert Show loves the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex any time of the year. But this spring break is awesome. Launching a bold new territory this spring at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Blast off. Have your vacation be the best at an out-of-this-world experience and an out-of-this-world price. Take advantage of this new two-day ticket offer costing less than $45 a day, but offering you maximum flexibility for the entire family. Learn all you need to know and grab your tickets easily at kennedyspacecenter.com. Don't miss the spectacular spring edition of Harry's Sip and Savor, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, located in the Rosen Center Hotel at 9840 International Drive. Enjoy an exclusive pairing event with mixology, culinary arts, spirits, brews, and a dazzling menu available one night only. Seating is limited, so don't delay. Get your tickets now. Available at harryspoolside.com slash harrys sip and saver. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navaj springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navaj is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navaj today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navaj is available online at navaj.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. 
life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. In this week's Marketer's Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing and the movies. Everything that we are doing is incredibly data-driven. We are getting signals in every single day about how specific audiences are performing. So although we're marketing at a very broad scale, and that does include specific local markets, that's really the beauty of iHeart's network. You're not serving the same message to a consumer in Nashville necessarily that you may be in New York. You have the ability to be very specific and very personalized, but at a tremendous scale. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all, from national to local, every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a media company, iHeartMedia is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Real Radio. 104.1. Want more from us? At The Jim Colbert Show on Instagram. Follow us. Welcome back to The Jim Colbert Show. Real Radio 104.1, 407-916-1041. Text us 77031. Thanks for listening to us on the stream. We appreciate that. You can also check us out on YouTube where you can comment on the program and watch us do it live. We'll have uh, Chef Talaluna here in a minute. Of course, we have our buddy Glenn Klausman in here. You can watch us do our segments right there on YouTube. While you're there, by the way, give us a subscribe and like. That does help us out quite a bit, by the way. Uh, I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack is as well. Hi there. Let's do Colbert Court. What you are listening to is real. Well, sort of. The participants are not actors. That's a fact. This is, however, a real case that will be decided here in our forum. The Colbert Court. That's right. The Colbert Court brought to you by Clausman Law. That's K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N-Law.com. Office is right there in Winter Park. 407-917-1718. Car crash. Call that guy right there. Give it up good and loud. Mr. Glenn Clausman. Yay! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. I, I see that you cheated on me for lunch this week, which you and I will talk about after the program uh, with Ray <laughs> Trendley. You took him to our favorite pot. I hope you didn't hit to see. I hope you guys didn't sit in our favorite booth either. No, uh, was, uh, where do we sit? I don't even remember. I think we did. I think we did sit in your favorite booth. You didn't realize you had a favorite you booth. son of a, you better watch it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, it's funny because when he told me you went to lunch, right. uh, you guys went to lunch, I said it had to be Francesco's. Yeah. And he's sort of laughing. I said, yeah, that's the spot, man. Right yeah, there. Yeah. You can't lose there. Yeah. Uh, how you been, man? How's the week? No, it's very busy week. Very yeah. busy week, like nonstop, one thing after another. That's why I didn't have time to get you any food today. I was just been uh, running, running, well, running. Oh, I'm and glad. Cold. As yeah. you can smell, we have plenty coming. Oh, good, so, yeah. good, good. Yeah, yeah we started. We started up our sip and savor things out at the uh, Rosen with the uh, Harry's Great. Poolside and Grill, Poolside Great. Bar and Grill Band. That chef is very talented. Good, good yeah, man. really good stuff. So, uh, it, it, you say you're busy, and and I know we've talked about this before. And you said that lo- you said that there is a season. Well, well I don't know if such a season. Here's what's happened. I, yeah. I have a, a very big case that's been going on for quite a while, and we have a new judge on the case, and we had a, a very big hearing on Tuesday, so I spent almost all day Monday and some of the weekend getting ready for that. And then the new judge was wonderful. He, he got everything, and everything worked out great. But then I had to then pick up on some other stuff that's due, and it's just been like you know, nonstop. I'm, yeah. I'm a workhorse. I'm not a show horse. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, there are lawyers that are show horses. I don't have a plane. I don't have side gigs. I don't put stuff on Facebook every week where I'm here and there. I'm working. I'm, right, right, I'm right. a workhorse. So, I mean, it's just been it's just been real busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and then this big case is it anything you can talk about? Is it? Is no, it, not, it, not, it's it's not that interesting. It's it's a case against an insurance company that uh, decided they didn't want to pay somebody's bills, and we've been litigating this for years now. And this is, I mean, you, and really to be honest with you, you and I have talked. And I mean, this this is a, a, a like a is it a growing segment of your business to have to fight insurance companies to, for tooth and nail, or is that just since this law changed? No, no, it's it's been forever. Yeah, yeah. It's just gotten a little <laughs> bit worse. I can tell you, it's gotten a little bit worse because one of the law changes was. We used to give them 30 days to pay a claim when they had all the information they needed to pay it to go ahead and pay it. And now the law has essentially changed, giving them 90 days. So I give them the 30 days, and I get a note saying, well, we need your – we've got a client that has a spinal injury, and they want uh, his work comp records from 1999. So that delays it. i got to get the comp records. Then they say, well, we understand there was another accident later earlier this year, and your client uh, was his accident a year ago. We want to see what happened in that accident. And that accident was his wife in a parking lot in a car he wasn't in. I mean, it's just like <laughs> they delay, just... delay, delay. You get to the point where I, I, I said to this adjuster, now, I've, I've given you all this stuff. Do you now want me to get the ro- broomstick from the Wicked Witch of the West? Right, right, right. Yeah, and she didn't think that was so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's just, you know, part of the game now. They've got 90 days instead of 30 on a lot of these cases before you can really, really hammer them. And you have to comply to every yep. single thing these guys ask before they pay you? You have to do that? There's there's, there's, yeah. there's no time, like, with a lot of these cases we see in the news where people just finally go, okay, enough. We see what you're doing. Enough. Nothing's going yeah. to change, and we both know it. Pay this guy. Yeah, that should happen. But um, the problem is if you don't comply, they can argue that it was a reasonable request. You denied the reasonable Ugh. request. Therefore, uh, they don't have to pay more than the policy limits that were offered. See, this is, a, this is a situation where they should have paid what the policy allows, which in this case was 25000 They're not paying it. And if 90 days goes by and they don't pay it, then there's a possibility to get even more than the insurance policy the person had. So that's what this one's all about. And that, that a lot of cases are that way. It just makes it so much more difficult to get them pe- get the people paid. And the problem is these right. people are usually suffering in pain, uh, going into debt because it's been months right. without work. People are paycheck to paycheck, yeah. most folks. Accruing more and more debt right, right. every single day. Right. Oh, that doesn't keep Very them from frustrating. Their head on their pillows and falling right asleep at night. And yeah. by the way, this the thing that I think for me, Glenn, as, you know, as long as we've known each other and talked about this, right. it's the most shocking is it's not like these are just like – it's not like these are shady backstreet insurance companies doing this stuff. These are the biggest names in the building that have employed these techniques to try to hold on to their money as long as they possibly can. Which that's a little bit disen- disenfranchising, is it not? Yeah, it's it's a business. It's a business for all of them. It, and people ask me what's the best insurance company, you know, and, and I, I don't want to get into it over the over the air, but they're they're really from time to time it changes. But most of them are taking advantage of whatever the law is they can take advantage of. They're in right, business, right. and that's what they do. Sure, yeah. They adjust claims. They don't pay claims. Right. They adjust claims. It's right. the art of adjusting is to tell the person on the other other end of the phone, oh, we're not going to ever pay more than $15,000. And then finally, when the time comes, they're paying $50,000. Insurance adjusters, the worst people to negotiate with? Uh, I don't want to. Th- I, I don't know, let me say, let, let, it's, no, no, sometimes let, let it's let difficult. This, most difficult way. I mean, it, it, it's difficult yeah. sometimes because we we know they don't have to tell the truth. I mean, right, that's yeah. part of the problem. That's, they should, but that's, 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 when mean, they tell me, you know, we don't that. have more than fifteen thousand dollars to pay, and then you know, a month and a half later, with nothing new, they're paying the fifty thousand they're supposed to pay in the beginning. You, you know, you get the kind of feeling that well, that that's the they call it the art of adjusting. <laughs> no, but yeah. let, let me ask you then. I, I, I want to get to the case for sure because sure. You, you brought one. But I mean, so that can't be brought up to a judge. Like that can't be brought up to any. Like that's the what ins- I was thinking. Like the insurance. Like I, I know that there's a um, uh, there's an uh, oversight. Uh, uh, there uh, used to be an adjuster code of ethics. And that uh, was that was eliminated. <laughs> that was eliminated. So you, sh- you shouldn't laugh when you say that. Yeah, I mean, that's what happened, you know. So, and there's really nothing you can do. Yeah, if I mean, he you just have, laugh, to, you have to just deal with it. No <laughs> formal complaints. Nothing can no. happen to them. They can just bald face lie right to your face. Yeah, it's it's the art of adjusting. Do you ever call somebody out for doing it? You ever just say, you know, that's it, a lie. It, it doesn't help me to do that. No, it doesn't. I mean, because I've got to get the money from them at right, some point. Yeah. And if I don't get the money from them, then I'm going to file a lawsuit, and then maybe they'll still be on the lawsuit. Yeah. And, and who knows? How, how many are, how many rage rooms do you? have in your house <laughs> i don't, like, don't need you, them i just you know i i've mellowed out as far as dealing yeah, with that kind of stuff yeah. because it doesn't do any good not to yeah and you're there for your client you're right yep. it's the right thing to do yep. well you're 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 a lawyer way longer than i would have been because i i don't know that i could deal with that i don't know that i could right. hold my tongue even in you know i i would learn to of course you have to learn to do that but right. I, it would be so difficult because it just seems so oh shady there's no other way to say it 
Yeah, but you you do better when you're nice to people as yeah. opposed to when you're arguing with them all no, the time. I mean, no I, I've had occasions where I've I've wanted to hang up with people and, and have and said to them, "Have a nice day." We yeah. just we just disagree, and that's yeah. the end of the conversation. Are you known in Orlando as a tough negotiator? I have no idea. Yeah, no, I don't, how would I know? <laughs> how would I know? Uh, you hear you hear things. Yeah. All right, talking to Glenn Clausman here. Clausman Law. That's ClausmanLaw.com, 407-917-1718, right there in Winter Park. Uh, Glenn is a personal injury attorney specializing in auto accidents. He's been doing this for many, many years, and you've heard us talk on the air about it many, many times. Other attorneys call Glenn uh, for sage advice on situations like this that maybe they haven't encountered that he could have encountered over his uh, 40-year career. A long time. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, Don't I mean, make that, him feel look, bad. Look, that time is experience. You know, people is. like yeah, hearing yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. A long time. And then what he'll do is he'll bring a case in. We'll read the case, go around the room, try to find out if we can figure out what happened. And then you will take our stab, and then Glenn will tell us exactly what did happen. Now, is this a case you've dealt with? This is somebody who called me up. Uh, they, they have not hired me at this point, but I thought it was interesting. I haven't had one of these yet, and I thought it was interesting. So I you know, took a look at it and uh, thought it'd be interesting. All right, very good. Let's go around. Jack, you ready? I am ready. All Bring right, it, Glenn. Here's the case. Here we go. My son is 17, and he was on his way home from school on an electric scooter in the bike lane when a car came over, forcing him off the road over a curb. He landed, breaking a bone in his arm. A witness in another car flagged down the vehicle that caused this accident. My question is, what insurance coverages can we go after for my son's injuries and for the consequences of his injuries? So 17 years old, I mean, the consequences would be he's got a broken arm. I don't know if he has a, a job or whatever. Chances are he's still in school. The most it could be is a part-time job. I don't know if he plays sports or has a sports mm-hmm. scholarship or if he is an athlete or anything like that. So the consequences, I don't know. The insurance coverages seem to be relatively simple. It well, would, are they? That's the question. Now, it, wait. Now, electric scooter in a bike lane on the road. My only issue with that, though, is that now that there are electric bikes... Well, yeah, because see, that's that's going to be I, to me. I'm with Jack on that. That it's it, motorized yeah. and the bike lane could be an issue when it comes to payout of insurance. And as we just heard Glenn say, they'll argue with everything. Well, I never even thought about that because the bike lane is really. It just says bike lane, but really, I think we all understand that is like bike, skateboard, scooter. You know, if you're pushing your uh, your kid in a stroller. Or, I've I've never seen any of those things in a, a bike lane on the road because usually there's a sidewalk as well. That hmm. that stuff you'd expect a sidewalk, maybe maybe a skateboard, yeah. But an I wonder if electric. Now you are have a it's a motorized, right? Mm-hmm. It's so a motor. It's a motorized vehicle in yeah. the bike lane. I think that's where insurance is gonna. Uh, that's where your first wrinkle is gonna be. Now, but, did the driver? Did they hit him? Did they stay? No, they didn't hit him. But that it's that's the very interesting part of this because it's a new technology and it's it's interesting. Yeah, the the witness in another car flagged down the car that calls the accident. So what we're seeing here is the car didn't even know that they they ran this kid uh, off the road. Uh, who knows if they knew or not? Right, they, right. They, they they don't know if they knew or not. But they they did get the person to come back. Okay, so the person did come back. Sure. I mean, automatically, you would think that the person who caused the accident, in other yeah. words, who mm-hmm. ran the kid off the road, would be the one liable for his injuries. Mm-hmm. That's the easy part. But oh. what other insurance is there you can go after? Uninsured okay. motorist coverage. Well, I mean, sorry, Jack. Low hanging <laughs> okay. fruit. I was going for it, babe. Do we know if this kid? Do we know if the kid has a car? We don't know that. Okay. We don't 17. know. But if he did, it'd be under his parents anyway. And, and, yeah, and him, so he's a minor. Because he's a minor. He'd yeah. be under his parents. Right, right, right. But if he's a licensed driver and he's on that right. insurance policy, mm-hmm. would it come into play? He'd be on his parents' insurance yeah, yeah, policy. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Here's another question. Was he wearing any safety gear? Was he wearing a helmet? I don't think it matters. He's got a broken arm. What, what's the difference? Yeah. I don't what know. Like, is, my question is, what insurance coverages can we go after for my son's injuries? We've right. looked, we we know at least that is part right. of it. Go after we, the car that caused it. We know we can go after the car that caused it. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's just that's just we know that's ten grand, right? Well, no, that, that's for the car. We don't no, know if he, the car may have more than ten grand. We don't know how much coverage the car right. had because I we ha- I haven't dug into it yet. But you'd be able to get what's called liability insurance right. that the car has. Right. And that could be up to whatever, could right? Could be whatever, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I've had cases where it's a million dollars and do we or more. Kn- do we know that the car does definitely have insurance? We know the car has insurance. Okay, so and we- wait, I take back uninsured motorist coverage because would that cover this at all? Or would that That's just... That's the question. If the car, do- the car that caused it does not have enough insurance to pay for the child's damages, then the question is, can you get uninsured motorist coverage when the kid's on an electric scooter? 
And would that be the parents' uninsured motorist it, it coverage? Would, it would be the policy that covers the kid. Sure, the parents. Man, so, you, there's no, God, if you tell me that this scooter has something to do with this. It's, it's important because a lot of folks have kids that are using these electric scooters. So I They're guess, zipping in and out all oh, over the place. You, you, oh, you know yeah. what I've seen in my neighborhood, Glenn? Yeah. There is, so we do have a kid who rides his electric scooter right. to his fast food job. But what we've seen in the last couple of weeks is a man uh, riding what looks like a motorized filing cabinet. <laughs> or a cardboard box uh, because he comes zipping by the house, um, sitting on this thing with in his bathrobe and a backpack. I think it's a cooler. Uh, it's probably probably yeah, yeah, yeah. It could, you, you seem live. at Daytona a lot. Not far from you. Mount yeah. Dora, baby. Mount Dora. <laughs> so he goes whipping down, and I, I've worried, like, I mean, because there's, there's no safety yeah, yeah. elements it's, at all. It looks like it's Glenn, electric, though. Glenn, uh, it's got a motor on it. Okay. Do the parents of the 17-year-old Scooter McBrown uh, have <laughs> uninsured motors? Yes, let's them. assume they do. Uh, le- let's uh, let's keep that on the uh, in play for now. Okay. Maybe okay. that can be used. Oh, ha- the injury just uh, a, a, oh, run, well, a run of the mill broken arm? That's what, uh, okay. what I know. They have not uh, determined that it needs surgery. They've got them in a cast. Right, right. What happens? You break a bone. If it if it's bad enough, if it's what's called displaced, they may need to put do surgery where they put a plate in and screws. But here, right. the the child unfortunately is in a cast. So the, fortunately, he doesn't need surgery, but he's yeah. still in a right. cast. Consequences of injuries. That's that's an interesting statement yeah. I've not yet heard before. I yeah, mean, well, it just depends on how long is he going to be out of school. I mean, yeah. what else is he missing out on in, in recreational activities, that but, kind of thing, and, and how long is he going to have a problem? Is it going to heal up fine? Not heal up fine? It Who shouldn't knows? exceed ten thousand dollars, though. For sure, a absolutely, up. sure. A, a broken arm will exceed ten thousand dollars. Consequences. Oh, absolutely, Jack. yeah. If it's my, if it's your broken arm, Jack, how much is it worth? Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's what, uh, the way I look at it. I, I tell you, Glenn, it depends if it's the right or the left. <laughs> yeah. uh, either way, either way, reasons. it's worth a lot, isn't it, Jack? Yeah, 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 I guess. Okay, well, texters are weighing in and saying that um, actually, motorized scooters are not supposed to be on the sidewalk. They're supposed to be on the road with the laws because they have a motor. Someone else said electric bikes or that are under a certain wattage are allowed on the roadway has to go under 15 miles per hour to use on the road without registering. So I still I still think the electric scooter is going to be the major wrinkle in the case and being able to get the insurance. Okay, I just so can't figure out the angle the insurance right, is going to so take. What, what, one of the other questions is the interesting question I had was, there is no fault coverage called personal injury protection benefits coverage that you have on all your policies. Everybody who has a car policy has this. It pays up to ten thousand dollars towards medical bills. Will it cover up to ten thousand on this kid's medical bills? That was the question I had. Now, why wouldn't it? Because other insurances could kick in as well, and you you don't get double paid. No, on no, these things? this is always up it's, front. It's always it's up always front. the first thing. Yeah. Wow. Really. Yeah. So, do we know if he owned the scooter or was it a rental? Yeah, it's his scooter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. His scooter. So he would get ten from the PIP, and then mm-hmm. he would get access to. Whatever uninsured they had, based mm-hmm. on what the injuries are. Right, right. Well, that's the question. Does he get the ten from the personal injury protection benefits coverage? He would get the liability coverage from the car that caused it, even though they may claim, "Well, I didn't do it; it was his own fault." Right. We may have that wrinkle to go after. Uh, if uh, they don't have enough insurance coverage to pay for his damages, then the uninsured motorist coverage steps in and acts as if they're the at-fault party's insurance to pay for the damages. And then the question had been. Can we get the first ten thousand dollars from the parents' auto insurance under what's called no fault personal injury protection benefits? And that was the that was the wrinkle that I I had to deal with. I would think you could. So my 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 thing would be like you get the ten k from the PIP, and then you get whatever covers the injuries, whatever's left over. You get that from the uninsured motorist. What do you think, Deb? I would think, hopefully, the PIP and the uninsured motorist. Mm-hmm. I just, I somehow, I, I just, I'm waiting to it's hear how It's too easy, huh? Yeah. It is. It it's is. too easy. And yeah. you just talked about how they'll question everything. Yeah. Yep. What do you think, Jack? I, no, I think it, I don't think the motorized, the fact that it's a motorized scooter is going to come into play. I, originally I did, but where else are they supposed to ride it? It's new. Maybe some laws are going to be adjusted moving forward, <laughs> but I think it's pretty straightforward that uh, the parents' policy 
would cover it, and then you uh, the car of the person who caused yeah, it. Yeah, so up with the, okay. you'll get the 10K PIP, and then we think that you'll have access to the uninsured motors to cover the balance of whatever the bills may be. But whatever the liability insurance doesn't pay based on the at-fault party's negligence that caused the whole thing. But what's what's happened, though, is, uh-huh. unfortunately, oh boy. Uh, when it's a Here we go. What's called self-propelled vehicle, a self-propelled vehicle, like a, a, like a little Vespa. I mean, it, they're putting these in the same category, it seems, because it is self-propelled. It's uh, you, you press a button and it goes. You don't pedal it. Because it's self-propelled, there's an exclusion for the $10,000 in PIP coverage. Oh. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, So really? it did come yep. into play. So See, what, this is another t- twist wrinkle that you, you know, people wouldn't... I I wasn't sure about it. I, I had to look it up. So if your kid drives one of these electric electric scooters and right. uses it to get back and forth to right. school, like Deb said, back and forth to a mm-hmm. part time job or whatever, and this happens, you will not be able to get access to the PIP ten grand. Correct. Correct. You will only have access to. And, and by the way, you would have to get lucky that the person who caused this had insurance, right. or get lucky that your parents had uninsured, or you'd right. be screwed, screwed. Or that you've got health insurance that's at least going to pay the medical bills. Right. Yeah. yeah. Subject to any deductible or whatever you've got. Wow. And, and the, the interesting thing is, if he'd been on a, a vehicle that he was pedaling, it'd be different. Wow. If he's so, pedaling, he's a pedestrian. So let me ask you, if you rent one of these things, mm-hmm. like in downtown Orlando, you rent right. one of these things, and do they have an insurance policy policy specifically designed for those scooters if something yeah. happens while you're renting it? It's a great question, and I don't know the answer to it. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah. I have not had that come up yet. That's terrible that they allow that, that they allow something to be mm-hmm. motorized, to be considered something, uh, you know, p- oh. Right. Pedal push. Yeah, lesson. Parents right. beware. Did you hear what we just said? If your kid's out there, we know a lot of people who listen yeah. to the show have kids in that wheelhouse. If your kid has one of the electric scooters and somebody causes them to have an accident, uh, you're not going to get fulfilled because... Or if they hit a pothole or if something happens, make oh, sure you've yeah. got health insurance. Make sure you've got health insurance. Wow. That's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. And someone did text us that they actually have a motorized filing cabinet 2023 MFC four drawer. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get video of this they cat. They a picture? Yeah. I'm going to get video yeah, yeah, of this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, great case, buddy. This is a really thanks. good one. This yeah. is actually, this seemed like it was a, a learner for you as it well, was. right? So I just wanted to make sure, yeah, yeah. And how many drawers on that filing cabinet? Four. Four, four wow. This bad yeah. boy's got Not four. What do I guess to keep in it? <laughs> <laughs> His Not organs right. that, you know, after he yeah. gets hit by a car. How about a helmet for that scooter? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Well, Glenn, is always good seeing you, thanks buddy. Great job. Y'all. Good and loud. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. That's Clausman Law, K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N-Law.com. That's one of the many reasons people choose Glenn is because he learns about stuff that nobody else knows. Who would have known, parents out there, if your kid had an accident on yeah. an electric scooter that you may be screwed? So now you do, courtesy of Clausman Law. Appreciate it, buddy. Good seeing right, you. Take care. You All right, 407-916-1041. Text us, 77031. Back in a sec with more of the Jim Colbert Show. Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Drivers can expect heavy traffic on I-4 in the Orlando area this afternoon, east and westbound by the major attractions exits, as well as through downtown. Looking at a crash causing some delays at the intersection of Old Winter Garden Road and Hiawassee Road. No major problems, however, for those who plan on taking the beach line and the greenway today. If you run into any problems on your roadways, just make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Healthcare. Sharp stomach pain? Advice is here. Consult a nurse. Answers, advice around the clock. Consult a nurse. HCA Florida Healthcare. We show up for you. Call 844-70-NURSE. It's free. That mortgage guy, Don, has been helping people with their mortgage needs for over 20 years, including myself. And know that that mortgage guy, Don, will work tirelessly to help with your purchase or refinance. But don't just take my word for it. Here's a review from Michael R. from this past December. Quote, Don and his team were very informative and looked at every avenue available to make things happen. End quote. I can attest to that. If there is a way to make your mortgage or refinance happen, that mortgage guy, Don, will find it. So don't miss the boat. Compare your quote at thatmortgageguydon.com. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with thatmortgageguydon.com. 
When you enter a place of business, you're owed a legal duty that the place of business is safe for you to shop in. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you suffered an injury at a place of business, our duty is to protect you after that harm. Morgan & Morgan, for the people.com. Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval crzhill.com for details tommy Mello here owner of a1 garage door service springtime savings are here and now is the perfect time to service your garage don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem call a1 garage today and receive the best service best parts and best warranty in the industry life's a constant swirl of shopping groceries clothes gifts the occasional self-care splurge you know how it is that's why you should get the drop app with drop you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download DROP now for free on the App Store or Google Play. I had a radio listener call me after an accident. The insurance company offered him $700. He hired me that day and we recovered $100,000. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. Potential clients may not obtain same or similar results. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, I heard media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else and we can give you access to those potential customers more cost-effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeartMedia can work for you. From your cell, dial pound 250 and say keyword, great results. That's pound 250 and say great results. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to installbrickpaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family-owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. Tools. Ace Hardware carries the best brands in grills from Weber, Big Green Egg, Trigger, and Napoleon. They also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney. And make sure everyone has a place to sit with outdoor furniture from Pollywood. And now they have a service technician specializing in grills to help with any repair or warranty issues. Get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, $3.99 and up. It's Tools Ace, 13 convenient locations in Central Florida, including their new store in Hamlin, just open. Or you can shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to wasismeatmarket.com for your big green egg today. Are your energy costs through the roof? Call the company that has been in business for 20 years. FAS is now offering $500 off any window and or door project. A plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. For a 
completely free in-home consultation, call FAS or visit us at FASWD.com. We're also having a giveaway of $20,000 in window and doors with no purchase necessary. To enter for the giveaway, go to FASWD.com slash giveaway. That's FASWD.com slash giveaway. Car crash? Call Klausman. KlausmanLaw.com. That's K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio now comes with moving pictures. The Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. Clifford, West Palm, if the bike lane is for manual bicycles and the sidewalk is for pedestrians walking, where is an electric motorized bicycle or scooter supposed to go? That would be my argument to the judge, too. What am I supposed to do? If I am not, can't go to the bike lane and I can't have motorized on the sidewalk, what am I to do? Uh, roll the life dice, I guess. Yeah, it's uh, a good question. I mean, it is a good question. I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to tell you either. No, I, I was equally well, surprised. The I, that was the deal. I think the answer uh, that, that the situation it's in, make sure you have health insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. And exactly. plenty of it. And a helmet. And helmet, okay. yeah. Very exactly. tough arms. All right, 407-916-1041. <laughs> Text us at 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. There's Deb. Hello. And Jack is here as well. Word. Uh, that was a talk back. You could leave one as well. Just go to and grab the iHeartRadio app. Go to Real Radio once you get it. Use that little mic to send it on down the line. Thanks for all you guys who listen on the stream. And you can, of course, watch us. And you definitely want to tune in now because we're about to bring in Chef Tella Luna <laughs> and the guys here in the next segment. And the guys from Hidden Springs over in Tampa. And we're starting up our Harry's Sip and Savor event. Events. Now, we'll do three of these this year. The first one's going to be April 6th. That's like next weekend, and it's going to be amazing. Here's what they do. It's five dishes uh, plus pairings, and this chef I've known for like 10 years now. This guy is a genius, and if you'll remember, we've done some of these before, and the food is just next level. And for the price, which we'll tell you about in a second, you'll want to book it as quickly as possible because there are limited seats, and they even add some for this thing, and it still sells out because the price is so good for what you get. A couple hours, we get dressed up not crazy good, but we get dressed up, you know, casual nights because you want to come out there. You get a, you get a, um, a reception cocktail. And then you get in there and get sat down. The chef comes out, explains all the dishes. We go through it. Then we get to taste it. It's a couple bites. These are tasting dishes. But it's so freaking good. I was going to say what's important is that if you've always wanted to go one of these – to one of these and you haven't been able to book now because if you didn't get a chance to hear Jimmy say earlier 80 percent of these fill out for the next one with the folks who are already there that's exactly the case yeah because once people get in and they see like it's 70 dollars, right and wait so, whoa whoa 70 bucks uh, for a person but let me tell you once you get in there you kind of figure out what you're getting and by the way it's not like they like when we were doing before everybody thinks you're going to they'll give you like one ounce of wine and that's your tasting with your dish that is not how it goes here these beer companies lose their mind <laughs> they do <laughs> they lose their mind they come in and they just give full beers out there and you're just drinking and having a good time and i'll tell you something else too Every single time we would go, by that first 30 minutes, it's like cruise friends. You wind up with a table full of people, some of them you've never met. Maybe if you bring people with you, most of them you've never met. But because you have that great love for food and drink in, in common, you just have nothing, you, you have, or excuse me, you have plenty to talk about. Right, exactly. Uh, and then, of course, the food itself is a conversation starter as it is. So we'll talk to Tell and the guys here from uh, uh, from the Rosen here in just one second and give you more information and let you see some of these beautiful dishes. And we'll actually taste them and uh, kind of try to uh, relate what we're kind of experiencing because you guys want to have that same exact experience. And I'm so happy to be firing some food stuff back up because you guys know how much I love it. You know, I mean, you guys know. Well, we're waiting. We're, we're waiting for, you know, I, you know what I would like? I want like a sheet pan special a every, sh every week you give me an idea of something that I can make. That's <laughs> really easy pan. and quick <laughs> on a sheet pan, man. Look, something Because yeah, you have all these yeah. ideas. You but, know what doesn't qualify? The food you're about to eat. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> no. This but, is that's chef actually, food. Looks like a week to make this oil he has. But I like Deb's idea. It's like stuff where you, you know, you throw all this stuff. It's like they, those, what are those 20 minute TikTok yes. recipes? 
but you do it and it really takes you like two hours and 20 minutes? No, buddy. This, well, listen, here's I've like, got a whole series of these things. I well, mean, these sheet pan things, I am the king of these sheet pan meals. So I was just thinking it was like, uh, so my, my brother and sister-in-law were recently in town so I could see my nephews and they have like this pre-cooked chicken in a bag. And I was thinking, well, what if I just like cut that up and maybe made some ramen and put some chives? I don't know. <laughs> So I was like, let me ask Jimmy. Right. <laughs> you know? So, look, man, if you have olive oil, salt, and pepper, uh, any vegetable, like you go just grab broccoli, cauliflower, some carrots, and then wedge some potatoes up, toss them in olive oil, salt, and pepper, put them on a sheet pan like 425, and then put your chicken breast at the end, and then coat them with something like a binder, like mayonnaise, and then just sprinkle like breadcrumbs and stuff on them. Salt and pepper and a little bit of cheese, and that cooks so, at the same exact mayonnaise? time. So. Oh, yeah, it melts away. Let me, you let never me even say, know. It's basically oil and eggs. It's annoying AF when Jimmy says stuff. And then says it's like, so easy. Like, like we're supposed to understand, like, oh, my, how, how do you know? Of course. Yeah, and then you put mayonnaise on it and then breadcrumbs. It, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Those aren't ideas that are flying around my head. This my, my favorite. My favorite was when this was months ago. Jimmy was admonishing himself because he didn't have a can of something in his pantry. Like, who doesn't not yeah. have olive oil and yeah. vegetables? And I just kept sinking lower and lower and lower into my chair because I'm like, you're talking to me. Why do you think I'm begging you for sheet pan recipes? I mean, if you, you should you should make these videos. It would be great oh. and, and for people to be able to follow them. Yes. But that's the key. you got to be able to follow them. You can't just assume we all know what you're talking about. It's easy. I can tell you, though, as someone who's made a recipe off your primetime kitchen videos before, mm-hmm. I can honestly say, one, I'm not nearly as messy a cook as you are. <laughs> Very messy. You had more vegetables land on the floor <laughs> than you did in your peppers. <laughs> Uh, but they turned out beautifully. Yeah. But I think that would really help a lot more people than just Jack and myself. If you easy, yeah, yeah. I uh, love when I love when that happens. Yeah, myself and Jack. There you go. Uh, when it comes to you know something that even I could make when I get home at seven thirty at night, and it's good for you. The and problem, it's good so for the you. The problem is a lot of the you know, people just use these old cooking techniques, and the roasting of vegetables is the best way to get the most flavor out of them. So I decided to put. You know, get in the kitchen and make a meal. And I did this on Saturday. I made jambalaya. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Again. look I, at you, dude! Chicken, I, chicken thighs. I had some gra- grass-fed beef uh, sausage, uh, and then I had um, you know chicken. Uh, and some I, did, I sausage? did not. I did not put the uh, shrimp in it. But uh, vegetable, I was out of peppers. But let, let's let's look beyond that. You didn't make anything then. <laughs> no, no, it had rice. It had onions. I even put uh, green onions in it. Uh, what it, kind of seasoning? It was. It's probably the Zatarans box, isn't so it? So here's the deal. I, I <laughs> had I had Creole seasoning. Okay. So I used that. Okay. But it asked for. Now I guess it's fillet. It's yeah, it, it, fillet, F-I-L, fillet. Yeah, fillet. 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 Yeah, fillet, yeah. It's like a, it's like like a, like a ground fillet. root. Right. What? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what. That, see your face, Deb's making. That's but, that's but the all, face I made. But all gumbo <laughs> isn't filet gumbo. Not right. all gumbo is filet gumbo. So I mean, you know, Listen, or, or jambalaya or whatever. I mean, so, uh, cut to. I made it, and yeah, you know what? It's good. It was pretty damn but, good. Let me tell you, you know the best jambalaya I've ever had. That's a, that's as working man food as it gets. Stephen Kramer. Oh really? Really? Do you oh, yeah. remember? Because he, he's, he's from New he's Orleans, from the, right? Yeah, yeah. And he made it. He, had, it was good. It was either a jambalaya or what was the dish that you just made? Uh, well, jambalaya. Etouffee, oh, jambalaya. Etouffee. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, it was the best. All right. Oh, my so gosh. I made this on Saturday. I still have some left, buddy. Listen, you're good. <laughs> no, no, he's not. Yeah, he's this good. is day five. Saturday, Sunday, I'm Mon- good. Well, I would let's eat, just I would count. Eat All right. The, I would eat that. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's yeah. Thursday. This is the fifth day. I would say today's the last day. How I thought yesterday was the last you day. You threw it out? I did not. It's still in my fridge. Oh, yeah. Good for you. All right, 407. Because he wanted what? to ask you before so, he threw it away. I, <laughs> is it safe to eat when I get home tonight? Yeah, I, look, man, I got to tell you, I, I don't, unless it stinks, I eat it. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I have a, I have a smell test. But now, look, if it's going crazy, I mean, five days would be right there with chicken in it. If it was shrimp, I would still say you're close. But the thighs are you get sketchy sometimes. You got to be careful. Well, but will, I think you're fine. Will that be the poll question? Right, will no, will you does. eat leftovers <laughs> no. five yeah. days yeah, after? Yeah, sure, do that. Yeah, okay. I do the same thing with Jimmy Jack. Just so you know, every day I'm like, can I put this in the fridge? Can I leave this out? Is this safe to eat, Jimmy? <laughs> but you asked me the silliest stuff. Can I put this salad loaded with mayonnaise? Can I just put it in the sauna for a couple weeks and then come out? <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, you know, you cut it with mayonnaise and then you throw right. some breadcrumbs at it. It and just a little, disappears. Yeah, yeah, a little seasoning. We store, that on, the, we store that on the windowsill. <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Back with the guys from Rosen, Harry's Pies, Poolside Bar and Grill, and some delicious food. We'll do that next. You might not have many friends, but we definitely don't. So, hey, Alexa, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Seeing some slow traffic on I-4 this afternoon in the Orlando area, both east and westbound by the major attractions exits. Looking at delays due to a crash reported on Lake Margaret Drive at 436. Another crash reported at the intersection of Conway Road and Judge Road. If you happen to see any traffic problems in the Orlando area today, just make sure you're calling the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Jim Colbert Show Question of the Day brought to you by WeAreNotTheBanks.com. Direct Mortgage Lender. That's where you go. It's Brad Siebert and his team. That's that's the website I went to when I did my refi, and I am talking, it's just over eight years ago that uh, I wanted to refi my home. I went to wearenotthebanks.com, connected with Brad. He let me know everything I needed every step of the way for my refi, and I got great rate. It was fast, easy, and that great rate put me in a great position today and I've got, uh, I would say, you know, just under seven years left, six years left to pay off this loan. And I am excited about that. Thank you, Brad. We are not the banks.com. That's where you go to get started. If you are moving into a new home this year, is this the year you're moving to your dream home? Maybe you're downsizing. Whatever your situation is, if you need a mortgage, we are not the banks.com is the website to get started. And that is wearenotthebanks.com, NMLS ID number 66247, equal housing opportunity. This earful of Real Radio is brought to you by Tools Ace Hardware. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. <laughs> Tesla Apprentice is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Yeah, this was a hard one to convince us to want to do again. <laughs> oh, you all right? No, we have no audio. Your mic is loud. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free, no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 
877-337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years' experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family-owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. Hey everybody, Jim Colbert here for my friends over at Life Imaging FLA. Time to be a hero. Tell your friends about Life Imaging FLA. Get them over there. That's exactly what I did for my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. The instant that my wife and I got our scans from Life Imaging FLA, we ran to the phone to tell them, hey guys, you got to go do this. It got into that point in their life, early 60s. Look, they didn't go to the doctor a whole bunch, and Life Imaging FLA and their free heart scan could really let these guys know if there are any problems that could be sneaking up on them. That's what I thought when I got my scan from these guys. I was like, well, I expected to see some stuff with my heart. My heart was fine, but my kidneys had some issues, diverticulitis issues. But we took that information right to my primary care doctor and got a plan going immediately. That's what can happen for you and your friends and family. Get them over there. Life Imaging FLA does have this free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. It is a six hundred ninety. $99 value. And be sure that when you get there, you ask about their cancer screening as well. Just pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say the keyword free heart scan. That is all you have to do. And by the way, this takes no time at all. Only a few minutes. You don't have to take your clothes off. There are no injections, nothing like that. You don't have to be scared if you're claustrophobic. You don't go into the entire tube. Couldn't be easier. Again, Pick up your cell phone, pound 250, say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. Make that call. Make 2020 for the year. You take control of your long-term health care. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. International Diamond Center's values are so compelling, it's not unusual to see people here that are not local. Every day, we have people that drive an hour, an hour and a half, even two hours. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. People are willing to drive because they've heard it's not a typical jewelry store. For example, did you know IDC has one of the largest selections of luxury pre-owned Rolexes in America. Thousands of hard-to-find Rolex watches, Submariners, Daytonas, Pepsis, Batmans, all in perfect condition. We scour the world to find only the most pristine, super clean watches. We only carry the creme de la creme. And like everything else at IDC, these watches are at a price that's guaranteed to give you maximum value. We price them to win the customer, not lose a customer. International Diamond Center. For pre-owned Rolexes, ex- Exquisite rare diamonds, premium designer jewelry, and exceptional white glove service. You're going to want to come to IDC. It's worth the drive. International Diamond Center for Orlando locations and online at shopidc.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Twin Peaks is always adding exciting cocktails to the menu, like the expertly balanced Sincoro Hall of Fame Margarita. Try it at your local lunch today. Beat the buzzer and get closeout pricing on all remaining 2023 models at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. The Jim Colbert Show, streaming live on YouTube. Watch us talk. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show. We're already at 104.1, 407 916 Text us at 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deborah's here. <laughs> Hello. Jack is Hi. here. And the crew from the Rosen is here as well. And this is Bananas. Guys, give it up good and loud for the guys from Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. Yay! The most people we've ever had in this studio, for crying out loud. Oh, mm-hmm. my gosh. God, it's like they dumped a bus off in here. But look, man, this, <laughs> this is the deal. Like, So uh, a few years back, uh, we partnered up with the guys over at Harry's uh, Poolside Bar and Grill. Uh, and we started doing these pairings dinners. And they would pair them up with beers as a rule. That's what we were doing at first, right? And they became insanely popular. And there's a reason why they became insanely popular. And the reason why is because we they pair up, and they only do it best. I mean, of course, you guys know the Rose in Orlando. They only handle the best stuff out there. They only give you the best experiences and the best services. It's always been like that. But when they started in, introducing me to uh, Chef Tella Luna, um, I started kind of experiencing something that I'd never really like experienced before. Like, 
every single flavor was so unique and different. And then you're like pairing this with beer and people are just having a great time and we're doing it all over again. April 6th, we're going to fire this thing right back up. You guys give it up good and loud for Chef Tella Luna. Yeah. And Blake thank from Hidden Springs. You. What's going on, guys? Good to see you today. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you uh, for the, being here. for having us. What have you guys been doing, man? What have you been up to? Been, been working. I've been, been working <laughs> on, uh, you know, try to put our menus together. And now, we're very exciting about this event. Well, buddy, let me tell you, the one good thing that I know about these events that we've experienced over our life together is is the multitude of proteins that you're, you're able to bring to these experiences. You know, a lot of times you go to these tasting menus, they charge a lot of money, and then you don't get a whole bunch. Man, these guys do not do it like that. When you pay your $70 to come, not only do you get plenty to drink, you get plenty of wonderful food and different proteins that's the thing we have flounder we have bone marrow we have chicken it really this menu looks amazing how long did it take you to put this together tell about two hours <laughs> <laughs> a couple hours huh? that's no, all? I, I had this in mind since we stopped doing it in the past we used to do it four times a year and you know we started doing this again so it was very exciting and i put this menu together in about two hours the tasting that's that's the hardest part of this menu is, is building the pairings yes that's that's when uh we takes time you know yeah uh, yeah and when you get, like, Hidden Springs, by the way, and I was telling uh, my man here that I, I have uh, had a couple bear lasers in my life, uh, and then I saw a couple ones that <laughs> the Zero Fs Given is another Ooh, very popular beer. I like beer. that it's one. It's a staple. Yeah, it is a staple. Those are great beers. The labels are always – that's what first drew me to your beer, oddly enough. And then everybody I knew that loved beer started talking about the brewery, and then, of course – they pair up with these guys, and it really. And I have to tell you, man, when I heard it was you guys, like this is this is really what this beer is built about. I mean, this is like one of the best pairing beers out there. These beers are so good with this. Absolutely, yeah. And so, you know, for me, when Adrian presented us the opportunity to partner with an event of this magnitude, you know, Sip and Savor is kind of like the Super Bowl event here in Orlando. Sure. So we immediately thought this is a home run. You know, as you mentioned, Hidden Springs is one of the most reputable craft producers. Uh, you know, and they're based out of the historic Tampa Heights neighborhood. So, you know, excellent beers to pair with every meal. Um, you know, it starts with a reception beer and then just kind of, you know, goes from there. Yeah, it gets right into you. So when you show up, you get your Prohibition Party Pilsner. So everybody gathers around, you get your beer, kind of mill about, talk with the people, kind of find out what they're there for, where they're from. Then you get seated, and we go right into this first dish, which is the sweet potato gnocchi. Tell sweet me about it. Sweet potato gnocchi. So, you know, everywhere, every Italian restaurant, they sell gnocchis. And I want, I want to do something different. So um, I play a little bit with yuca and sweet oh. potatoes. <laughs> so um, I, 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 you know, I decided to go with the sweet potatoes. And, uh, you know, every, almost every dish that I put uh, on the menu, I want to use protein, uh, starch. And I say, you know, with, um, with mussels, it's pairing very well. And I make a sauce with uh, lobster and a little uh, corn. So I need, less, I was something sweet, something spicy. And I, I add uh, roasted corn. So you have steam. Basically, you have this beautiful gnocchi, right? It's a nice little ball of gnocchi. We have steamed mussels, crispy pork belly, lobster sauce, and sweet corn sauce all together. And it's amazing. And by the way, this beer pairs perfectly with it. Thank Absolutely you. perfect. Did you try it yet, Deb? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's eating. <laughs> it's so funny. I was outside. And I saw one of the other chefs eating this very dish, like enjoying this very dish. That's absolutely great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jack, what do you think? Which one are we on? The first one, right? <laughs> the sweet potato. What are you doing? Uh, I'm working backwards. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, the pork belly is great in there, by the way. You need that little bit of fat. A little fat, saltiness. A little bit of fat in there is great. Then the mussel is, again, you, people like, see, like that, that kind of food with bacon goes great. You know, with, with that, just that good fat in there and that little smoky flavor. So good. It's better very well, yes. Very nice. All right, so let's get into what we have next. We'll go right out of the gnocchi. Uh-huh. In, well, you know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you, have to move, you have to move to the next day. It's your nightmare. You look up and everyone's like, time to move on. So let's talk about this fried flounder. So fish, you know, uh, fish. Um, this is a, a mix. Uh, in Mexico, we use a, we use a lot of uh, pinto beans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people are not familiar with pinto beans. So I found the uh, Bartoli beans are very similar. So I taste the Bartoli beans. And believe it or not, this is like refried beans without smashing. The flavor, really? Yes. So, and, and the fish, I keep it very simple, you know, pan fry. Um, <clears throat> so, the, the salsa verde, you know, I had to keep my, my Mexican roots. Right, right, right. And I put roasted poblanos, tomatillos, 
a roasted for a couple hours, and then I blend the whole thing. That's fresh cilantro and onions. And, and the good thing is, so when you when you pan sear that fish like that, you don't get a real heavy, you don't get anything heavy around it. And that is that little topping there is so light and refreshing, and it blends all together perfectly because these beans, you know, the beans are are big, they're big meaty beans, so you get a really good bite in there. And I think the little bit of acid in that kind of cuts right through it and makes it really really good. And the pairing is great too. Absolutely. I mean, ZFG is, again, another staple from Hidden Springs, uh, zero IBU, uh, meaning that they remove all the bitterness from the beer, making None. it very light, delicate, easy to drink, still full bodied, though, for a pale ale and just pairs excellent with fried flounder. It really does. I mean, it is really, really good. And I forgot that you did, you guys did that. I totally forgot. There's no there's no bitterness to this beer at all. It, it really Absolutely. is like super smooth. Very good. So let's move on to the roulade here, the chicken roulade. And i got to make sure I get my pairing here, right, because I don't want to mess it up. And it looks like uh, – so tell me about this, buddy. So the chicken roulade, you know, um, I don't like to work uh, too much with chicken. But uh, if you – Why not? I don't know. You can get chicken anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> because you know? everyone else does. So, uh, uh, But I haven't, I haven't used a chicken on, on, on this on this pairings. Uh, and I try to keep, make it simple with the chicken, a little queso fresco. But the 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 hook the is is the sauce. Oh, is is a mix of birria sauce with mole together. I took the guajillo chiles. I put a lot of spices, and I think it came out re really nice. Mm. Oh, it came out better than good. And buddy, let me tell you, that's a kind of a bold pairing, is it not? Absolutely. I mean, first and foremost, you know, mm. I looked over at Adrian. And Adrian's right over my shoulder here, and I said, Adrian. <laughs> I have one more beer that I think would go really well with this dish, but, you know, there there's a little surprise, and she's like, go ahead and show it. So, we, you know, we pulled it out and showed everyone uh, our sexual manatee, which is going to be a passion fruit, uh, blackberry sour, uh, brewed with vanilla and lactose, and it pairs excellent with the dish. Let me see that label on that bad boy. That, that should not work. <laughs> like, that should not work. That, that mole is so bold and earthy and spicy and deep. And this beer is like Kool-Aid, like a little soury, like what's the, uh, uh, like that, like a little passion fruit Kool-Aid. It is so good. That should not, that is the most bizarre pairing that worked perfectly. You, is this one you like a lot, Tella? Well, I didn't, I didn't taste the. Oh, I didn't, right. taste, I didn't taste the beer, so I I, I got it like always. I got to go by it. <laughs> he, he doesn't drink. <laughs> go ahead, slam that. So, you know what I love about sours too, especially from Hidden Springs, they don't give you the Renee Zellweger face when you, uh, <laughs> you know, when you take that first sip. You know, your your lips start to pucker. You don't have that with these kind of beers. And that little bit of vanilla at the end is really unique, dude. That that is, I've never had that beer before. That's exceptionally good, dude. I really appreciate it. Buddy, I got to tell you, when people, and I always pick out the one dish that I think people, gonna, that I watch and tell will tell you, we've done these before. There are certain dishes that when we try them beforehand, when they get served, I don't eat mine. I watch the room because I want to see how people react to this stuff, if they have the same reaction I do. And I'm pretty good at it because I, I get the same exact, like people don't know what to think. You have a sour beer with a really deep, like heritage Mexican sauce with this mole, these big, heavy flavors in there. It's so good. Mm. Good mm. job, guys. Thank that's you. like one of the best pairings ever, man. I'm telling you, that's no that's no joke. All right, let's move on to the dessert. And the desserts are always good because desserts are weird with beer. People freak out when you have uh, sweets and beer together. They are a natural pairing, by the way. I've been telling people that for years. Beer is a lover of uh, food and sweets and sugar. And what do you have for us here, Tella? So we have the chocolate espresso ch uh, cake. Um, and, and the sauce, uh, I mean, not the sauce, the... People call it mousse. Mousse. Um, but the real name is creme mousse. It's a French name. Um, we put caramel with cumin essence and cardamom. <laughs> Try that now. A little, uh, now, what is the candy thing on top? That's a chocolate uh, garnish that we make. Oh, man. And what are we pairing this up with? <laughs> this one's going to go with our peanut butter deja mu. Ooh. So a little milk stout. You're going to get cocoa nibs, peanut butter, a little chipotle flavor profile in there as well. It uh, just has a lot of veracity for, you know, being, we take it up, you know, from the standard milk stouts that are out there. Winner, winner. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll. I have to say I like this dessert even with a little bit of mole left on my fork. 
It, it's just a perfect <laughs> pairing with dessert. You can't take me anywhere, <laughs> chef. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I thought for a fact that chicken one was going to be the one, but that is, it's like you brewed that beer for this dessert. Yep. Like so, it, it's, so, and, the, and, and, and by the way, the consistency of this cake, the density of this cake is perfect, buddy. So, so this is what we're looking for. You know, when people come over to our band, we want them to try something different, something unique, something that they're going to be able to enjoy it so they can come back again. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, trust me, uh, uh, we put a lot, of, a lot of passion and heart on these menus, uh, working for a company that allow me to bring, I can buy whatever I want, whatever I need. So um, it's a great event, and I hope a lot of people can come over and enjoy it. So well, for seventy bucks, you can't get food this good. Well, not, drink not this right good. now. Not right no. now. No, for that this, for that amount of money. Well, this is what I've said forever. This is by far the best. This is the best pairing dinner price oh, you can best, find in the city. Best value. For seventy bucks, you get this sweet potato gnocchi. It comes with steamed mussels, crispy pork belly, lobster sauce. Pair that up with the orange crush American wheat beer from Hidden Springs. Move right into the fried flounder with tomato and borlotti bean sauce, salsa verde. That goes with our zero f's given. A uh, wonderful. <laughs> then we take a little break. Get some cardamom ap- uh, apricot sorbet. And the thing I've told you since we've known each other is you don't give yourself enough credit for those things. Those, those, dessert, those yeah. sorbets are unbelievable, dude. Yeah, you no, do I such always, a good job. I always job. try to do uh, savory flavors. I don't yeah. like to work with sweet so they can clean up the palate after they eat after yeah, yeah. They eat, so and then we go right into the roasted bone marrow with shallot fig marmalade citrus salad and a crostini with riot juice berliner uh, the vice beer that you guys had that is also delicious right out of that into this beautiful chicken roulade with a queso fresco poblano and chorizo potato cake and the wahilo pepper sauce pair that up with the sexual manatee <laughs> sour ale unbelievable <laughs> and then end it up with chocolate espresso cake, cumin scented caramel cremeau, and a peanut butter deja mu milk stout, all of that for only seventy dollars a person. Okay, you can't better than that. You cannot. That. You you cannot do better you than not. that. Nope. And these are bite bites. This is not like you're getting two bites and you're like, oh, where's the next deal? Like every one of these is like three or four bites. Oh, you'll be full by the end of this. No question. Great job on this menu, thank boss. Thank you. Thank you very much. Seriously, Yay! great, great job on this menu. No joke. This is one of the best, man. It's so you. good. Uh, let's get um, Adrian in to talk a little bit about uh, the business aspect of this. Thanks, Blake. I appreciate it, buddy. Absolutely. Now, Adrian is the social media rock star over there. And to be honest with you, she's been with us uh, through these gigs, I think, since the onset of them. What's I up, think girl? so. Hey, how's <laughs> How it going? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a minute. How's I things? Know, I, uh, life's good. Life We're is back. good, isn't We're it? back, baby. Yeah. All right, so let, let me tell you real quick. We're not trying to oversell you here, but you guys also sell these within the hotel. You still have the mailing list from when we did them before. Correct. You've yes. already sold almost uh, half of these. Yeah, we're a little about halfway there. So actually, as soon as um, we started and sat down, I got a text from one of my managers that they were getting reservation calls. So Already? Yes, lines are hot. All right, so it's harryspoolside.com. That is correct. Harryspoolside.com. You can book it there. You What's- can book uh, paid advance there. That way when you get there on that Saturday evening, everything's all set. You come in, have a beer, and enjoy. And the great thing I've said before about coming down is they start early enough so that when you're done, you're still down there in that area where you could go to, like, the Wax Museum. You could go ride the Eye, go out and do some other stuff in that area because, you know, yeah. it, it's in a really – it's in a cool part, and it takes – like, it takes about two and a half hours. Yeah, but, so there's but, still time at the end of the night. And yeah. we also, um, if you go on the website to book, there's information for a room package as well. So you get a little discount on the room and you can hang out and make a weekend. Make of it a little staycation, yeah. huh? Yeah. Very good. Harryspoolside.com, $70 a person. We have about 39 tickets left, maybe fewer than that right now. Yeah, I would guess so. And then it sounds what's, like it. what's the phone number? Uh, so the phone number is 407 996 3970 to call directly to book. 996 3970. Yes, sir. Very good. Harryspoolside.com, uh, six dishes. Pairings from Hidden Springs. You can't beat it. Only $70. I'll be there. Maybe some other members of the show we can con them into coming. Eh? Yeah, we'll, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, we'll have the brewmaster from Hidden Springs there as well, so you get to hang out and meet him and, and learn you, a lot about the beers. Are you going to be one of these heavy pour guys that we've loved so long? <laughs> Oh, you already know. Yeah, you definitely know it. <laughs> these guys come in. Here's the thing. I'll tell you what these beers got, beer guys do. I'm going to bust him out a little bit, right? The beer guys will come down. Let's say they bring like five cases of beer, right? What beer guy wants to load up five cases of beer again? Yeah. Right? Oh, right. yeah. Nobody yeah, yeah. wants to do that. It so all has to go. They want that beer to go. <laughs> so you'll get the Hidden Springs. You'll get the wonderful food. And a great setting, by the way. Uh, the restaurant is beautiful right there on the pool deck. Um, and a lot of fun. And I'm glad you guys are back. Yeah, we're happy to be back. I am happy to super happy, happy you're back. back. Frozen Center again. We're super excited. Chef Tell is a badass. You guys are a badass. Hidden Springs is going to be awesome. $70 a person. 
harryspoolside.com. Get your tickets now, and we'll see you in a couple weeks, uh, April 6th. That is correct. Thank Start- you so much. You Jared. got it, man. Good yeah. seeing you guys. Big round of applause for the guys. Yay! From the Yay! Woo-hoo! Great job, guys. Wonderful. We appreciate it very much. And we'll keep we'll keep the message coming. We'll sell it out for sure. Right? I swear right. I'm going to put some of that mole behind my ears. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm there. All right, 407 916 1041. Text us at 77031. Load them up. Trivia is next. We have a prize. Get on board at 407 916 1041. Jim Colbert Show Trivia is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. That's C E N T O Moving.com. This is three time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. We're down out of the Sweet 16 in March Madness, and East Regional Games, they'll be played tonight in Boston with a West Region tipping off out in L.A. Florida State, they are not interested in staying in the ACC once their legal battle shakes out. The school stated its intention to leave in a court filing this week. And former Florida guard Riley Kugel has narrowed his transfer choices to Arizona, Kansas, Yukon, and Houston. I'm Scott Davidson. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4-6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples. You know, inflation is running high, and nobody knows when it's going to level out. That's why you need to buy your windows and doors right now at FAS Windows and Doors and lock in your price. They have the largest window and door showroom in all of Central Florida. 38 unique windows ready for you to operate. Pick out your favorites. They're all built with impact resistance glass that gives you security, noise reduction, and maximum efficiency. They have a full selection of hurricane windows and doors. All the estimates are always free, and they always give you tons of options, which I love, not to mention all these products. Every one has a lifetime warranty. And if you act right now, you can receive rebates of $55 per window and $95 per door. Plus, they have no money down, no interest, no payments for 12 months financing. The showroom is super easy to find. Fairbanks and I-4, slide in, pick out the windows you love, have them installed by their total pros, and enjoy. It's FASWD.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Sneezing, coughing, uh, stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Canes, canes, canes. Get an alarm clock. Get a rooster. Canes Super Saturday Sale starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. Prepare to lose your mind. This Saturday for one day only, Canes goes all the way. Everything's on sale. Over $40 million in furniture. The whole shebang. Brand new sofas from $499. Dining rooms from $299. Three-piece beds from $299. Come on. Plus, special financing store-wide. Call the cops. This is stealing. It's Super Saturday at Kane's. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. This Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., it's Super Saturday at Kane's. Doors open at 10 a.m. Kane's. You won't find it for less. Kane's. Super Saturday. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. 
We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more, all commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. As we wonder why school shootings keep happening, someone is lashing out at loved ones. As we argue about legislation, someone is posting threats on social media. As we continue to mourn the loss of innocent lives, someone is planning the death of more. Knowing the signs is the best way to prevent gun violence. Learn the signs at sandyhookpromise.org. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. This year full of Real Radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. There's only one place to watch this nonsense at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Jimmy, for all us normal people, whenever you start talking food, please slow down. Sorry. Because all I got was the vegetables, I missed the part with the chicken, and then all of a sudden breadcrumbs. So remember, when you start talking food, Sorry. we can't write it down fast enough because you talk so Sorry. fast. Yeah. I know, man. Sir, I, I believe mayonnaise was the part you missed for some Stop reason. It. There's no mayonnaise in any of this. I'm no, sorry. I get, I, get, I get so yeah. fired up when this guy. When no, he was. Just, he it's was. Just, it's too he, much. He was talking about your sheet pan. I know, but I, yeah, I don't care. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise, and that's going to be a new segment, by the way. A mayonnaise segment? Well, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? God, I, I, guys, I cannot begin to. T- I, I can't. I can't tell you how much I love eating good food, man. <laughs> We I could just, tell. I, listen, <laughs> like, it's listen, a good I'm thing t- the mics were off during the break. Listen, we could tell. I'm telling you straight up right now that if they charged you that money just to eat that chicken dish with that mole, with that oh, pairing, oh yeah, it, it would be worth it. That that pairing with that chicken, yeah, and that and that sour beer is the most bananas thing that you would never in a million years think would work. Like when I read that on the menu before they even came in, I'm like, this is going to be a nightmare. You know, a sour, kind of semi-tart, semi-sweet beer with a really dark, rich uh, Mexican mole, and it could not work better. I know. Like, I'm amazed by it. Th- by the way, these things are so much fun. I-, I hope you join us. I really do. I- it's $70 a person, but I'm telling you, you when you go in and, and you enjoy this, bet money. You will buy the next one that we do, I think coming up in August. You will buy it that night before we leave. That's how much fun you're going to have. Uh, it's harryspoolside.com for your tickets. Mm. And I think there's like maybe 30 left. 
and they're, they're, it's going to sell out probably before this weekend. It probably may even do it tonight. Show. But it, it, it's so good. And this guy from Hidden Springs, this guy Blake, loves it. He's bringing tons of beer. You're going to get five times your money's worth. I'm not kidding. They're so good. I've told them before they don't charge enough. I've, uh, I've literally looked at him and said, you're not charging enough. It's that good. I'm sure, yeah, everyone listening is like, shut, shut up, up. But they, well, here's shut the thing. Shut up, Jim. It's not about that for them. And that's one of the reasons I love doing business with the guys over at Rosen because they're all about the integrity and the quality. And I, I, I love that so much. Anyway. Uh, we have a listener right here. That's enough, Jim. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, 407-916-1041. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is here. Hello. And Jack has the Jackie sack. Oh, boy. <laughs> Still not used to that one. All aboard. Chugga, chugga. Choo, choo. Look at it, clack. Look at it, clack. All right. In the jackety sack today. Jack is that what it is? No. Jackety sack? No. Jackie sack. Jackie sack. Yeah. Like hacky sack, but yes. we're going jacks. There we okay. go. You're clever. I tried hacky sack once. I Like, I hit it twice, and then I, you know, yeah, it's yeah. not easy. It's not. I'm not coordinated. No, you're not. It's shocker. <laughs> All right. A pair of tickets to see Orlando City take on New York Red Bulls. They're... They play in Harrison, New Jersey, but they call themselves the New York Red Bulls. Oh, come That's on. That's neither here right. nor there because they're playing at X- Inter and Coast Stadium right here, downtown Orlando. This Saturday night, you can be there as they take on our Orlando City Soccer Club. And that's a pair of tickets in the Jackie Sack. Also, a pair of tickets to see Stone Temple Pilots. Yep. Woohoo! Plus, the band Live. It's the Jubilee Tour, and they have a special guest. They're called Soul Asylum. Hell yeah. This is happening at the end of summer. It's August 28th. It's at the Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater in Tampa. But, man, that should be a heck of a show, too. Two great prizes, all in the Jackie Sack today, brought to you by... Sento Family Moving and Storage. Go local. Support a family-owned and operated Orlando Moving and Storage company. Just make sure you mention the Jim Colbert Show, because that's going to get you a discount. Book them today at CentoMoving.com. That's C-E-N-T-O. Moving.com. Talks really fast when he's talking about food. Back to you. Thank you, Deb. I appreciate that very sure. much. Jack, who's first today, buddy? That will be Jay. Jay right there on line two. Jay, how you doing? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good, buddy. Would you like to play a little game with us? Yes, sir. Uh, let's do it then. Want to play a game? All right, Jay, this is a really easy game, boss. Got a question here for you. Four answers. One of these answers is a lie, buddy. I made it up. I'm trying to fool you. If you can find it, if you can beat me there, I'm going to send you over to the Jackie Sack and off to either an Orlando City soccer game or to see the Stone Temple Pilots with their friends live and Soul Asylum. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Here we go. On this day in 1866, the very first civilian ambulance goes into service in Cincinnati, Ohio. Here are three fun facts about ambulances and one uh, and one hospital Uber of a lie. Number, wee, wee. Talk about ambulances, buddy. Here we go. Number one, there is no truth to the myth that ambulances turn off their lights or sirens if the patient has died. Number two, the average response time for an ambulance in the U.S. is 11 minutes. Number three, the average alarm... An average ambulance costs about 200000 to build, and their useful lifespan is about four to seven years. Ooh. Or lastly, during the U.S. Civil War, steamboats and trains were regularly used as ambulances. Which of those is a lie? I'm going to go with the uh, the 11-minute one, Jeff. Yeah, That's the one, buddy. You're a winner. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, real quick, do you think it's more or less? It's less. What do you think the average is? Uh, I want to say like four or six minutes or something like yeah, that. It's eight, buddy, but you're yeah. a winner. That wow. would have put you on hold. Good job. Good Congratulations. Job. I, I thought I got him there for sure. I, I was so f- intrigued, fascinated with the facts. I forgot I was looking for which one was a lie. <laughs> and well, I th- at the end, when I've been here all five, six years, <laughs> and at the end when he goes, one's a lie, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's <laughs> the nature of the game. So well, it, there is no truth. And you know, for years we thought, if you see an ambulance driving and their lights are on, but their sirens are off, that means the patient that they have with them has passed away. That is not true at all. It's not. It, it can just be up to the ambulances. Sometimes they'll ride with their sirens, sometimes not, depending on the traffic, depending on what they're doing or going. But none of that is true. That doesn't. They don't make any indication how the patient's doing at all okay. via the lights or sirens. Now, the average response time is 11 minutes. An average ambulance costs about 200000 to build, and wow. the average lifespan is about four to six years. That's wild. Some of them are more, actually. And then during the U.S. Civil War, steamboats and trains were regularly used as ambulances as well. 
Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, a couple other things you may not know about ambulances before we get to the top of the hour. That they're haunted. <clears throat> the word ambulance comes from the Latin word ambular, which means to? Well, not walk. Yeah, walk. Oh. Yeah. It, it means to walk or move to, around. To amble. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first recorded use of an ambulance was what year? It happened in Spain. 1880. Well, we know the first. Yeah, uh, it was 1888. Eight, but then when you said it, it 18, happened in Spain, but, but you got to remember that I said the very first civilian ambulance. So, ambulances oh. were used originally for wartime and wartime only. 1487. Whoa! Spain. They had carts that were pulled by horses, and they would go out into the fields and retrieve the injured, and then bring them in. Or they would actually take an ambulance that was rein, uh, reinforced out into the field and just bring them into it and do the work there. Oh wow! Uh, but actually, pretty fascinating history about these things. The first motorized ambulance was invented in 1899. What do you think it ran off of? Coal. No, that's Steam. a great guess. Steam. Great guess. Electricity. It Whoa. Was, it was an electric motor in 1899. Our, our first electric vehicle, and go. Elon Musk <laughs> asks like he's, you know, invented yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's ambulances. Hey, so, okay, so 200 grand, four to six years. What happens after that? What are ambulances repurposed into? Oh, I think they just sell them in the open market wholesale, and you can do whatever you want with them. People turn them into those vans they live in. They just strip the stuff out of it. I'm sure they they don't leave the equipment in. Right. Yeah, I get that. But Uh, I I don't, you know, you don't see a lot of repurposed ambulances. You you know, before the 70s, do you know what was regularly used as an ambulance? As a matter of fact, the reason why is because the patients. Yeah, Hearst is the answer. Yeah. Because a lot of times the patients went to funeral homes anyway. That's where they would set up shop to work on them. Whoa. Before so, hospitals. Because hospitals weren't the original people that used the ambulances. If you stripped out an ambulance, would it look like a regular box truck? Yeah, it would look like a van. So you wouldn't notice it. Yeah, they, they extend yeah. the top of it with that thing so that right. the people can stand up while they're working on it. The other thing I found out was interesting was... um. I wonder if you could turn one of those into like, you know, a little like mini home on wheels. Oh, yeah, yeah. you could easily. Yeah, yeah. There's but, you know, probably up, a TikTok about upgraded it. <laughs> uh, upgraded suspension because of all the weight it has to carry for sure. So you have a nice sturdy There vehicle. you go. They usually, they usually take them out of commission right at the 250,000 mile mark, depending on what shape they're in, you know, and how they're running and how reliable they are. They'd have electricity. Oh, yeah. They have all that. Probably yeah. running water. Well, Maybe they, yeah. not water. Well, they no, no. They have to for sure. They would have a tank, a reservoir, right? You know, much like an RV has. It oh. holds probably twenty or thirty or forty gallons, whatever it may be. Pacific Northwest is calling. Yeah, yeah. very interesting, man. They've been using them for a long, long time. <laughs> we, we may have to talk soon. Why well, not? I, I kind of linger on these RV commercials when they when they don't pop up. you? Yeah, really. Uh, yeah. Except that so many people have nightmares about and them, and that's why I, I figure this is a future conversation with Jim because I you. An number, RV owner, I don't know. Is it like one. a boat? Number one. No. Yeah. Never, ever, ever buy a new one. Never buy a new RV. Ever, ever, ever. You you will kick yourself in the straight in the butthole the instant you drive that thing off the lot and realize you just lost 7K, and that's minimum. It Do not ever buy a new one. It is the worst. Don't buy a new one. There goes five, that sponsor. Five, five, <laughs> no, I'm just telling you. And I think most of them would probably tell me the same thing. Just go buy one that's been rattled around a little bit. Yeah. But because like, when you get broken in, yeah, that's right. Because they shake a little bit when you're driving around and stuff comes loose and then people fix them and then that's the one you want. So, Jack, let me ask you you see those commercials about, you know, big RV park, come see the sales. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. you're like, hey, Naomi, let's, you know, let's go take a couple hours. Let's I go said, check out some of the What RVs. do you think, huh? 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 Hey, if you want to plan for your retirement, <laughs> you got to know what you want to do. Exactly. And I'm like, hey, what about that? What about that? All right, 407 916 1041, text us 77031. Uh, Harvard makes an alteration to a book that it's had in its library since 1930. I'll tell you what they did next. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Delays continue on I-4 this afternoon in the Orlando area, both east and westbound on the interstate by the major attractions exits. Looking at major delays southbound on John Young Parkway due to a crash blocking two right lanes at Deerfield Boulevard. Normal slowdowns now reported up and down the turnpike near the Oakland Exchange exit and through Kissimmee and St. Cloud. If you see traffic problems, make sure to call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then 
Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Man, here we go with Rebath MidFLA.com. That is where you get the bathroom of your dreams. And if you do have one of those bathrooms in your home, and it doesn't matter which one, it could be the master bath, it could be the guest bath. But if it's that guest bathroom, you know what happens, man. It makes it so embarrassing to have friends or family over for special events. I know everybody's graduating right now, but in the fall, Thanksgiving will be here. And all those events, you got to go to your brothers, maybe your mom's, because your bathroom is so embarrassing. You just don't want to have anybody over. But that can change. Rebath in Mid Florida can do that for you, man. And they can do it for you with incredible products. Natural stone like travertine and marble, all those beautiful colors, that's available. All those trendy things you see on television and in the magazines, they can do it. Daryl Payne just showed me the two bathrooms he got from Rebath. Amazing, amazing stuff. They control the entire job. They're employees. They do it in four to six days, and they give you a lifetime guarantee on the products and the insole. And the products you can even see beforehand. Just visit the showroom, 436 up in Altamont. They're right across from Kobe. Very easy to find. You can take their design team, your ideas, their ideas, their products, and next thing you know, you have a beautiful bathroom. When they install it, you're all set. This happens every day with these guys. Log on today. Look at the before and afters, and then book your appointment. Your new bathroom is right there in Altamont at rebathmidfla.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jarn Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Stockton with a shot! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Stockton McGuire! Orlando City is back at home this Saturday, March 30th at 7.30 p.m., taking on the New York Red Bulls. Join us at Intern Co. Stadium for Kids Night Out that will be full of mascots, video games, cartoons, and outright silliness as we celebrate the next generation of MLS fans with a special night dedicated to our youngest fans. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. A1 is also your one call for garage floors and garage storage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. If your garage door is noisy, if bugs are getting in, or if it struggles to open, your garage door is in need of a repair. Call today and take advantage of our $29.95 tune-up special. A1 from day one want to win a free motorcycle i'm orlando attorney mo dewitt and i'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to twenty thousand dollars all you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com that's bikerswinorlando.com enter today at bikerswinorlando.com in this edition of the marketers report angela zapeda chief marketing officer of hyundai motor america discusses measuring audio the measurement capability with an audio i think surprised all of us but all of it's been extremely helpful and we have seen a huge return on our investment. The methodology by which we're approaching audio and then seeing the real results with real numbers has helped us continue to invest moving forward. One of the things that's been really important for us is to see the extension of reach to the new audiences that we could not 
really speak to before. Uh, we get about a 20% lift adding audio to our overall portfolio. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to all, from national to local. Every audience, live conversations, trusted influencers, and the insights and data you need to grow. Not just a marketing company, iHeartMedia is your access company. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Hi, welcome to Ikea and our spring storage event. Oh, hi. Save big on storage with lots of new lower prices and limited time offers. Perfect. I'm making the winter to spring swap and I have no idea where to put my sweaters and gloves. <laughs> we can help you get organized and store winter away. And we've got in-store events for more inspiration. Sign me up. Visit us in-store from 320 to 49 or at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for more details. Offer valid dates may vary. U.S. only while supplies last. Selection may vary by store and online. See store on ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for complete terms. Restrictions apply. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS-FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Are you offended? Obviously, we're only kidding. You're listening to The Jim Colbert Show. Hey, Jimmy, about a month ago, I text about um, this series on YouTube called Abandon. You may have seen it. Uh, it's by skateboarder Ricky McCrank. Yep. Uh, I know that sounds like I'm trying to get you, but I'm not. I know. Um, it's legit. And a month ago, it was about, you guys were talking about uh, the water supplies and stuff like that. And he does one series on that, but he also goes to all these abandoned southern racetracks, and this Wilkesboro racetrack is one of them. Check it out. I will. That sounds really exciting. You know, actually, I remember getting caught onto that series called Abandoned. Oh, yeah. I think it was on Vice or something like that, or did he say the network? I think it was on the Vice Network there for a while. And, um, yeah, yeah, I, that's when I just started getting into abandoned stuff myself. And I remember seeing that. Yeah, it is a cool show. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Find us easily on social. Uh, Instagram, Facebook at The Jim Colbert Show on Twitter, just at Jim Colbert Show. Yeah, he said it was on YouTube. Yeah, the, YouTube. The series. YouTube. Yeah. And uh, another thing we were talking about, I just wanted to give a shout-out to Heather in New Smyrna. <laughs> who shared one of her easiest and favorite <laughs> sheet pan meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to take a screenshot of that, yeah. Heather. Thank you so much. Someone also sent a text uh, saying that uh, I'm sure 17 truckers drove off the road listening to you eat that mole. <laughs> because you were making some noises that didn't sound like mole noises. Mole, mole, yeah, mole, yeah. mole, mole. Like hole noises. <laughs> and, and thanks to Mother who texted in, 77031. Hey, here's a great idea for uh, a web video. Uh, my face when I have to fill up an RV fuel tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 407-916-1041. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb and Jack are here as well. Okay, Harvard University has a book. Now, they've had this book since 19 the 1930s. Uh, but just a few years back, they went in and they made a change to this book. And this book is called Destinies of the Soul. It's been housed there, like I said, since 1930. And uh, it's a book about the it's a book about the human um, soul. It's a, a book about uh, just basically basically humanity, yeah. right? Okay. So, what change do you think they may have made to this book at Harvard University? Genders, pronouns. No, it's not that. But I have to tell you, I thought that's when I started reading the story and I saw the headline. I thought it would be something like that as okay. well. So something hyper woke. It's they, not that they uh, removed uh, God. They, oh, they didn't take God out of it either. That's that's yeah. another great uh, guess. It had, even though it does deal with uh, subject nature that kind of brushes up against that, uh, that isn't the answer. Take uh, out any references to a particular God? That's another good guess. No, Jack, give me one more shot, and I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Definitely want to tune into YouTube for that. Mm -hmm. Easy. <laughs> oh, my God. Deb. Sorry, 17 truckers. I'm thinking of our audience, Jack. Okay, so it's not uh, gender pronouns or God. They no. What else has changed since the third? <gasps> uh, 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 how they refer to uh, other people. Uh, oh, they oh. call them. What, what if I told you it was about the book itself? Oh, maybe no. not. Maybe not the contents of the book. The book itself. The they, book itself. They changed something about it. It's no longer bound in leather. Not leather. Silk. Not Raw silk. Hide. No. Mm -mm. Linen. Mm -mm. Wool. Wood. No. Cow Lead. Skin. No. <laughs> Human skin. 
What? What? Human skin. A book called Des De 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 La Am I? Oh, God almighty, dude. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go get ahead. all those Give out, them, please. Yeah, just do another. Yeah, one more. Bis Thank you. Destiny of some destinies of the soul. There you uh, go. Is what oh it is, my right? God! I thought you were trying to speak French. No, he was trying I was. to speak Latin. Latin. Is in French, but destinies I mean. of the yeah. soul. But the university announced that it has removed the binding, and here's why: because the binding came from an anonymous dead woman in the 1910 or 1930s, and it was from uh, they basically what would happen is this. In the 1900s, there was a weird kind of thing that happened with certain doctors in certain areas that when people were executed or they died in prison, at times, well, most of the time, they were using their bodies to dissect, to learn more about the human body. But a number of these guys had like a bit of a morbid side, and they would use the back skin of some of these executed uh, prisoners as bookbinders. Uh, this Nazis did the same. Right. This woman did the same. This guy did the same thing. This guy named Dr. Ludovic Buland, who reported that the book was bound uh, with skin from a body of an unclaimed female patient who died of natural causes. Harvard, in really kind of a, a really kind of not damning admission for their own behavior, really kind of threw the book at themselves, for lack of a better pun, because they were like, they've used that in the past to draw attention to that library and to draw attention to that tome. Come see the human skin book. Right, exactly. Yeah, touch it, touch it. Go ahead. Put and, your finger on it. And they're saying <laughs> now it, that it. They're, pulling, they're pulling it down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, God, could you imagine? <laughs> oh, <laughs> how many fraternities have said, you know what you have to do, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you break to, into the oh, library. And you've got to lick the <laughs> destiny of souls. Oh, my God. I never even thought about from that. From Top to bottom. This sounds like a Harry Potter. Can I tell you something? It? What's more yeah. dangerous, the skin or the licking of the Harvard students? <laughs> I don't want to look at it for Chaz. Well, that makes me think of Hocus Pocus, you yeah. know, because her, her spell book was bound in the skin of, of executed men. Yeah. It says here, Ugh. it says, after careful study, stakeholder engagement and consideration, Harvard said um, that they concluded the human remains used in the book's binding no longer belong in the Harvard Library collections due to the ethically fraught nature of the book's <laughs> origins and subsequent history. Good timing, Harvard. Good timing. <laughs> I nailed it. And in 90 <laughs> years? <laughs> now, now the big thing for Harvard is, is they're actually going to try to find out who this person was. DNA? They, yeah, they're going to, well, I don't know if they're going to do the DNA thing, but they're going to try to find a way to respectfully um, put this skin or part of this human uh, to rest. And uh, they're, they're conducting an additional biographical and provenance research into this anonymous female patient. It arrived at Harvard in 1934, uh, located within the book. It was a note written by the doctor saying that no ornament had been stamped onto the cover to preserve its elegance. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. It said, I kept this piece of human skin taken from the back of a woman. A book about the human soul deserved to have a human covering. How crazy is that? That. Uh that's a bit of a stretch, yeah, no pun intended. It's, it's very it's gross. gross. It's disgusting, actually. <laughs> now, it said, you know, this wasn't really an, like, no, it wasn't like there was a scourge of this. Uh, this really was, even even then, when you didn't have the ethical nature of what we deal with now, right. uh, it was still considered kind of, you know, fringy. Uh, even for the you know, early 1900s, <laughs> not not really the mainstream back <laughs> not, then. Not even in the early 1900s, Jack, when they when they pooped in the street. Uh, yeah, it says uh, they further. Uh, it says they apologize for further objectifying and compromising the dignity of the human being whose remains were used for its binding. You know what? I think that's a stand up thing to do. I think it is too, and I bet it came about because every time someone went to check the boat the book out, sh her ghost was standing there, Pokemon <laughs> in the side. Yeah, you like tucking my back? You like touching my back? You like that? You like that? You now, like that? There's a name for this. The practice of binding books in human skin is termed oh, anthropodermic bibliopegy. That's exactly what it's called. Uh, Jackie gets a dong for anthropodermic that. Anthropodermic bibliopegy. That, that I only gave peggy. I only see. It could be peggy. It, it, well, not. You can't give us two answers. <laughs> they can't both be right. <laughs> but we don't know he's right. But he sounded yeah. confident and he I didn't stutter. I practice. So you get a bell for that. Says there's not a huge right. number of these out there. It was an occasional <laughs> practice, mainly done for generating sense of vicarious excitement uh, rather than for practical mode. In other words, I wonder like, if Ed Gein had said that with his uh, human skin lampshades. It's like, listen, this is just a fringy thing. And chairs. And chairs. I mean, you have three horror movies based on 
one guy who basically did what Harvard has kept in their library for over 80 years. Yep. Think about that. I yep. mean, he did the exact same thing. He's considered, be, you know, behind well, he Silence did, of the Lambs, uh, Texas now. Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre. Let's back up. Little, he, little he, did, he did not murder them to do this. He did not murder. That's true. And Gein true. was specifically brutal, by the way. He was. Uh, if he you've was. ever read anything I about have. have you seen the photographs from the farm when they raided it? I have. Where the woman hung up like deer? Yeah, dressed like a deer. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And he's suspected of killing his brother. I yeah, mean, yeah, you yeah. understand why he's the, the basis of it. It's just interesting. And then, that. you know, when he went to court, there's, there's f- photos of this as well. You know, if I remember right, they didn't really want him in court. And the reason why is, is because when they introduced the evidence into, um, uh, when they introduced the photographs of the crime scenes into evidence, he would get aroused. And he would smile and stare at him. Ugh. Like he's still, yeah. he's still at it. Quite yeah. proud. His mom used to dress him like a ba- uh, like a girl and stuff. He, he had a real tough childhood. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Still doesn't. Uh, still so it's shouldn't, her fault. Shouldn't have uh, skin lamps, though. You know, yeah, you know you, there's a line. All right. There's, there's a line. line. I'm right. saying, but if you were going to make an art firm, wouldn't you, like, look for people with, real, like, uh, like sleeve tattoos or, you know, someone with real nice artwork? No, exactly, because no, no, then you, you don't have to pay for the artwork. You want all, that guy said he wouldn't even do anything to the cover of the book because he didn't want to ruin the, the fine piece of skin he had to work with. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, 407-916-1041. <laughs> uh, Let's go back to talking about that mole. <laughs> There's something for sale in California. The number it's selling for is startling, but what it is, you can certainly understand that it has some value. And I honestly, I cannot believe it's still available. I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about next. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. Hey! This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. Seeing some heavy traffic now on I-4 westbound due to accident activity reported at Sand Lake Road affecting the left lane and left shoulder. Another crash causing heavy delays on Colonial Drive at Lake Pickett Road where roadblock is reported at that intersection. Still seeing some delays for those traveling by the major attractions exit east and westbound along I-4. If you see any traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. With traffic, I'm Samantha Canning. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Healthcare. Sharp stomach pain? Advice is here. Consult a nurse. Answers, advice around the clock. Consult a nurse. HCA Florida Healthcare. We show up for you. Call 844-70-NURSE. It's free. Improve your home's curb appeal all while saving money on your utility bills with new windows from Renewal by Anderson or better yet, that patio door you've been meaning to replace for a while. You know the one, it wobbles on the track. It's embarrassing when you have people over for a pool party because you have to use two hands to open it and close it. Well, worry no more because every patio door from Renewal by Anderson is built with their exclusive Fibrix material, which is two times stronger than vinyl and features the most energy efficient glass they've ever offered. And Renewal by Anderson products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find anywhere. And they're even transferable if you sell your home. So get started now. During the month of March, buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com for details. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC 1527613. Join us for our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards, live from the Dolby Theater in Hollywood. Monday, April 1st. Watch on Fox, starting at 8 p.m. And listen on the free iHeartRadio app. Otesla of Trenolast is a proud partner of the iHeartRadio Music Awards, a celebration of artists and the fans who got them there, the fans who make the music truly come alive through their energy and positive vibes. To the fans that make live music possible, we salute you. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Join a one-night spring edition of Harry's Sip and Saver, April 6th, 6.30 at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, 9840 International Drive, featuring mixology and culinary arts. 
harryspoolside.com slash harrys sip and savor. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in Drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. You know you should clean your carpet and tile, but did you know there's a right way to clean? Russ Rollins here for Zero Res, and they have figured it out with their patented process that leaves zero sticky, soapy chemical residue behind. They bring their own special ZR water because it cleans better, and it dries faster, and it's safer for kids and pets. So, no hooking up to your water. Mention my name, and you get 20% off your tile and grout cleaning. And carpet cleaning is only $49 per room. Go online to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's Zero Res. Spell forwards or backwards. It's the right way to clean. Here's a top move for hiring a divorce attorney. See how they look and handle themselves on video or audio. Chances are that's them at their best with editing, setup, and multiple takes. The courtroom is live. Mediation is live. Make sure your divorce lawyer is going to make you look good. At Trendley Kramer Law, we handle family law and divorce. TK Law, one firm for life, People think Florida is salty because most of our state is surrounded by salt water. But it's the other states that are salty. Why? Because we get to enjoy McDonald's breakfast bagels year-round. You see, most parts of the country aren't as lucky as us and can't wake up to a steak, egg, and cheese bagel with a tender, juicy steak patty and savory grilled onions. Or a sausage, egg, and cheese bagel with a sizzling hot pork sausage patty. Or a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel with thick-cut applewood smoked bacon. Enjoy savory breakfast bagels only at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba at participating McDonald's. When you're eating McDonald's spicy chicken McNuggets, take a moment to appreciate that they're back. And while you may be eager to reach for another McNugget, take a moment to let the spice settle. Because the lightly breaded tempura and blend of aged cayenne aren't just spicy, they're worth it. You can order ahead on the McDonald's app. ba da ba 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 but participate in McDonald's for a limited time. McD app download and registration required. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. It's draft season. The 2024 NFL Draft is right around the corner, and the Move the Sticks podcast has you covered for all your draft needs. The show is hosted by me, Daniel Jeremiah, and my partner, Bucky Brooks. When it comes to Detroit and the draft, Move the Sticks is the podcast that will answer all your questions. Which quarterbacks are going in the first round? Don't worry. Tune in, and you'll be ready to watch the draft like a scout. Subscribe now and listen to the Move the Sticks podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. This hour of programming is brought to you by My Home Builders Network. Need a new roof? Then you need Mike and his team at HBNUSA.com. This is why YouTube was created at Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Subscribe and watch. The Octopus Murders on Netflix, four-part documentary. Okay. I've heard it's really good. Really? Yeah, yeah. I've heard that's really good. There's actually, um, and I guess uh, Colin Farrell has a show coming out called Sugar. 
where he's a detective that's also supposed to be very good. And I started watching a show with my wife last night that she has a connection with. I'll tell you about that in a second. Welcome back to the Jim Colbert Show here on Real Radio 104.1. Thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate it when you listen. Uh, and you guys on the stream, thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate that. You can always watch our show live on YouTube. Just go to uh, jimcolbertlive.com, click right through. And when you get there, please give us a like and a subscribe. Follow us all on social. Helps us out quite a bit if you don't mind. I'm Jim. Deb is here. Hello. Jack is as well. I am. Um, there's a show called, I think it's called McBee Ranch. Okay. It's on Peacock. And uh, it is a full-blown language experience there. I mean, they, you know, in Peacock, they don't, uh, there's no, uh, there's no uh, masking of the language. Oh. Which is very nice. But it basically is about this small ranch in Missouri, a little town called Gallatin, Missouri, 1,800 people. And the reason they built, I think, the reason they built this show around these ranch hands, because here's the thing. Yellowstone is still pretty big, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that whole thing is kind of big now. That whole ranch lifestyle, you know, big, huge, out west kind of scenario. And I think what they're trying to do is probably capitalize on the popularity of those kind of shows right now with a reality show based on a real, actual working cattle ranch and farm with a, with a dad, the patriarch, and then his four sons. It's kind of like Yellowstone. Exactly. And then basically they go off and they do their thing. The sons are trying to figure out who's going to take the ranch over. The dad is trying to secure a gigantic loan to keep the ranch going. And basically you follow them around as you do it. And uh, one of the interesting parts is, and I I was thinking to myself, how would they find this ranch in a town of 1,800 people in a pissant city in Missouri? Like, how would they find that? I know. One One of the sons happened to be Joe Millionaire. Oh, okay, yeah. remember the show Joe Millionaire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, the guy is still with that girl. The oldest son of these McBees is, I think, Stephen Jr., and he was Joe Millionaire, and that's how I think they kind of found out about this family. And more, and they may have pitched the idea themselves, but we watched like two or three episodes of it last night, um, and I wasn't really, like, I didn't think I was going to be into it, and it actually turned out to be pretty interesting. Um, it's a little corny because those guys aren't actors, which is good. Right. But the reason Wait, we... Is it a drama or is it a reality It's a reality series? show. It is a reality show. Yeah, they're show. real people. This is a real working ranch. Uh, so it's called the McBee Dynasty. Yeah, the McBee Dynasty. Real American Cowboys. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Come on and, now. And it's a little corny, but it's still interesting. But the reason why is, is my wife's company is about to start working with that McBee family on producing, you know... Uh, Merch like, for the mer- show. Merchandise for the show. And they were actually at the office in Apopka just two days ago. Oh, wow. And she got to go in and meet them and everything. And uh, she said they were all cool, all nice guys. And uh, they flew into town to do this little business and flying right back out. So, um, And that may be part of the show next year. You never know. Uh, but check it out. It's called McBee Dynasty on Peacock. A couple other things I wanted to kind of get over to you guys. So I was telling you before we went to break that um, there's something for sale. It's part of an auction out in California. Is it California itself? It's not California itself. The soul of California. No, no, no. no. Right. <laughs> That's bound in human skin. Yeah. <laughs> now, it's kind of interesting because I don't know that this thing is actually part of this auction. Uh, it says it is, but it's kind of weird how it wound up in this thing. But this is an auction um, of a collection of things from Marilyn Monroe and Hugh Hefner. It's being auctioned off by the Julian Auction Company. All right. That's a big name. And they have a number of things here. They have some of her old lipstick. They have Hef's very famous burgundy smoking jacket and silk pajamas, which I wouldn't come within a 500 feet of. <laughs> um, and they have a number of other things. Um, the star's first Playboy cover that sh- that was her Playboy color. Right. Like, when Hef printed it, he gave her that copy. Her copy is going up for sale. But there is one thing there. That's a little different that is going up for sale. By the way, did you know? Go ahead. Well, from the Playboy Mansion? It's not. By the way, that's why I don't understand. It's not part. I I don't think it's part of any of these collections. So I was thinking the hot tub from the grotto. No, no, no. no. Think about this. Think after after the fact. Sock? After the fact. Like, they, they are both passed away, and they are auctioning off their belongings. Okay. Deb's Deb's mouth is hanging open because she, she is getting ready to. She, no, use con. Okay, no, no, no. Here's what the deal is. <laughs> yeah, that's after the fact. Yeah. I mean, it is. And yeah. I don't. I don't know who would do this. But did you know that Hugh Hefner is buried directly beside Marilyn Monroe? What? Directly. They're in, they're in a mausoleum, 
And for people who don't know what that is, instead of being buried underground, a mausoleum is the big building or building that you see with the squares and the little plaque that says, and that's where the coffin is in there, right? Yeah. So it's like just in a building, in a, almost like a storage yeah. unit yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, I'm, less less bugs that way. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised because it's always been said that D- Joe DiMaggio was the love of her life. Well, okay, so she was married to not only him, but she was also married to the playwright. Um, Eddie Fisher? No. No. Uh, oh, oh, and I watched the movie too. Yeah, yeah, big time playwright. Oh yeah, yeah. Every, you know what? You will know him immedi- immediately. Arthur Miller? No. Yeah, Arthur yeah, Miller. Arthur is Miller. it Arthur yeah, Miller? Yeah, yeah, Arthur okay. Miller. No, where Marilyn Monroe and Hugh Hefner are buried or or are interred, I should say, at this mausoleum, one space up and four spaces over is a space available, so you could be buried within six feet of Marilyn Monroe. And that's what they're auctioning off. And that's being auctioned off just out of curiosity. What do you think they expect that to go for? What do you think they expect this one cube of space that just happens to be a few feet away from the burial area of Marilyn Monroe and Hugh Hefner? What do you think that's what do you think it's gonna go for? I'm gonna guess Go ahead. Out of the blue, fifteen million dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> what? I am way off. I'm way I for him to laugh like that, I it's gotta be so low. No, I don't think so. It I mean it's not so low. It's definitely not fifteen milli. Uh, okay. Gee, I'll, thanks. I'll I'll go seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred and ninety thousand dollars. Whoa. So what now here's the thing. They're starting off this bidding as like forty five. <laughs> Come on now. That was close They're enough. starting off this bidding <laughs> at like forty five grand. They expect it to I mean, they expect it to go crazy. Now, just to give you an example, there is a guy who has the space oh. directly above Marilyn Monroe's crypt, right? and he was trying to sell it a few years back for four point six million, and it it, it it didn't get any bites. Wow. Can I can I get a bell if if I, that's where they're starting the auction? So if it goes for f- close to fifteen, then I'll no, oh, yeah, sweetie, right, right, then right. you can get a dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get a dawn. It starts Yay. at forty six thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars. <laughs> By the way, you'll also be in the same area of Truman Capote, and you'll be pretty close to Farrah Fawcett. So I was going to say, really, it's a chance to be buried among you know Hollywood elite. That's what you're really. I mean, that's what you're getting there. Because I was thinking to myself, you know, for for those, I mean, God, you'd have to be a really big Marilyn Monroe and or Hugh Hefner fan to want to spend that kind of money, right? Yeah, and I can't imagine there. That's, are Hef, that many of the, her fans left that would want to spend that kind of money? Hef bought the spot next to Marilyn, I think, in the 80s, if I remember right, or maybe 70s, and he spent $75,000 for it back then. Wow. So that'd probably be a couple hundred grand now. Yeah, man. And, and, and the funny thing is, Jack and I were in, um, we, when we were in L.A., uh, out there years ago for the XFL, when we went out there, we were doing our, our you know sideline reporting and stuff. We did ride around, you know, the Hollywood Hills looking at houses. You can't really see anything, though. It's, that's what they don't really tell you because all the big houses, all the really famous yeah, places. off the road. Well, they also have hedges that are 25 feet high. Right. That are dense as, I mean, you. there's no way to see through them. You can't see anything. You know, you, where you get to the gate, occasionally you'll see a little space where you can look in there and see where it is. But, I mean, those places are, it's just walls of these giant shrubs that mask the houses from your view. So did you go to Woodlawn? Did you go to the famous? See, that's what I didn't do. That's what oh, we did. Oh, man, should, oh, I've we heard. Should, we Jimmy, should have you gone. should. Let's go back. I you heard just people go- get scratched in there. What do you mean? Like walking amongst the graves. Are you serious? Yeah, very. Like paranormal <laughs> yeah, stuff? Like a, like a ghost scratch? Yeah. Like, well, done? you know, you just get home and you're like, damn, my ankle burns. What the hell? And you're like, oh. Really? Wow, I didn't know. But they're super, I mean, that's a oh, really super famous. It's dense with celebrities. That's it's, the celebrity burial ground. Well, okay, so in Orlando we have one of those, right? Didn't our buddy Don used to handle the one that was Woodlawn? Over? Yeah. Is it Woodlawn? Yeah. Or Greenwood. 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 That's it. The one uh, right off of Bumby in downtown yeah. Orlando where you find all of the. Mr. Rogers is there, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, then the art guy, what's his name? No, no, no. Ba- Bob, is Bob Ross there? Bob no, Ross. he's out in Gotha. Is Gotha, he? yeah, exactly. Yeah. But also, the uh, most of the people in Orlando that our roads are named after oh, exactly. the roads and the buildings yeah, and, yeah. and streets. Yeah, all right. those guys yeah, are there. Yeah. All those, yeah. Bounds. And he was the um, what's the name of that? Uh, the name uh, of the uh, role, the, not the docent. Um, uh, what is the name of that? Come on, texting service for those who give tours of, it, of well, cemeteries. It, it was also, it, he's a historian for it, right? As well, yeah. uh, but there's a word for there it. Is. Yeah. There is. There is. They're gonna they're gonna send it to us. I at know any it. Moment. It's something tour. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, he he did the the tours on the the full moon of every month. He would do the tour out there, and then do a Halloween one. Yeah, and you'll remember when that lightning struck out there, and it put that it it, it toppled that tree. They used that tree to make a de- a beer over at Ten Ten Brewing for Tom and Dan. Oh, you wow. right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's very cool. All right, four zero seven nine one six one zero six six. Sorry, Sexton. <laughs> that, 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 that. Dr- I thought of it just as it came in. Is uh, it? Is yeah. Wait, did it come in? Somebody just asked how how much to be buried to me, uh, next to me in Plaque. Hey, only if it's going to be in the old drive-in movie theater. That's exactly where it would be. I think my <laughs> uncle's going to go there too. I don't think I'm going to be, bur- be buried in Plaque. I'll probably wind up being buried here. I would yeah. want to start my own area for the family if they wanted to do that. But man, my crew is going to be everywhere. I got yeah. I've got one that's probably leaving the country here in about six months, and she ain't ever coming back. <laughs> she's going. She's going. To, she said, "I'm going to England. I ain't ever coming back." Uh, she loves it over there. Um, and I don't. I, I look. My wife's family. I really don't. I think there's they're in a in a cemetery in Sanford. Oh wow! Most of their now, is all your family in Wisconsin? No, no, they're all here. No, no. So my father's family would be in Wisconsin. All of my family, my mother's right. family, is in Columbia. In Columbia. Is that where you're going to be? Ah, uh, uh, you know, it's funny because my mom wanted to be scattered at sea, and I'm like, no. Oh no, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have to have some place to go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Are you? Are, is she? Uh, is she doing the cremation thing? So will you have an urn, or will Actually, she be buried? Actually, the thing that we both saw recently on CBS Sunday Morning, which is fascinating, but they're only doing it right now in California, is composting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The green or the mushroom suit thing or whatever. Uh, well, they basically put you in a bin and they cover you and they compost you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Because in that way, you you literally go back to the, the, there's an all natural burial. Well, they yeah. bury you underneath a tree. Yeah. The difference is, is that your family has to be in charge of your of your transportation right, right, to the right. location. Yeah. I, I don't want to spend all that wasteless money on a lead box and yeah. a fancy coffin with a pillow and all that crap. I do want somewhere for my kids to feel sad and cry though. That would be at the bank. <laughs> <laughs> It's every two weeks. <laughs> Why didn't he leave it to me? All right, four oh seven. Jack, does your family have a have a um, like a family plot? No, what there, I there's rem- five hundred of you. Yeah, <laughs> you have to have your you'd have to have your own graveyard. So no, I, I visited my uh, uh, a couple of years ago. I saw my dad and my my grandfather and grandmother are together uh, in a beautiful cemetery right next to a golf course. Man, matter of fact, you walk. 50 feet, you look through some pines, and you are on, like, the, the fourth fairway. Ooh, um, nice. My dad is in a, a cemetery. He was buried in 1975, and I remember after that my mom saying, hey, you know, uh, I." It, it was a twofer, and hers, she was going to be buried on top Bogo? in the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, but that never happened. That never came to pass. So I know there was... I, I have no paperwork, but I remember her saying that, you know, there was a plot on top of where my dad was buried. Oh, really? Wow. So I, when they that, do that, that do boy, they that, go? That, that's, they should give you a discount for that. It, you should so have, do they have to go a lot the, deeper if they're saying that? You, yeah, well, you would oh. think so. Yeah. yeah, because it's like the six feet, right? Yeah. Is the six feet under kind of so thing? So they'd have to go, would they go 12 or 9 they down have to go more, for that though, first? Dude. Definitely have to go more. Yeah. So are you gonna be are are you gonna do that in Florida? Are you gonna start your own plot down here? Yeah, no, no, you can burn. I don't. Care. You don't care. I don't <laughs> really, I really don't. don't. <laughs> yeah, but Who, whoever's mean, left can decide what's easier for them. And your sisters are everywhere, right? You have like seven sisters, and they're all over the states. They are, but they're all alive, so no, we haven't I'm had that burying problem no, but, yet. But what I'm saying is, is when you know, did, I didn't, I, and to be honest with you, I don't know if families even do this anymore. I know in my town, right. a lot of people never left town, so it's nothing for you to drive into the graveyard where my mom is buried and see you know eight or ten or twelve people that have the last name or in the same lineage in in an yeah. area. So we're we're definitely at the point at this age where my sisters have now lived longer in the places where they are now than they did in the town where we right. grew up. And I think wow. that's probably yeah. most people, right? Yeah. When they leave home or whatever, they don't, you know, they're not going back there. That's why I, I don't really have a, a connection like that to my hometown. I've lived here way longer than I ever lived in Palatka. Same here. I mean, I may have been born in Wisconsin, but I only yeah. lived there. I mean, I, I moved here yeah. in 89. Right, right. So, I, so I, I've lived in Central Florida longer than I've lived anywhere else in my life. I've got more of a heritage connection to this city than I have than, than Palatka. But I, I would but even... a drive-in, Jimmy. Think of that. That would be so cool. <laughs> you could watch movies all the time. 
That's, that's, where, I, that's where my Uncle Bobby, God rest his soul, we would go watch those boob movies. See? Yeah. Oh, my God. There's nothing in the world like having a raging one of those in gym shorts while the mosquito thing burns your toes. <laughs> Just think you and you and you, you and your uncle could be there in we're, spirit. We're not trying to make eye contact because we know. We know what's happening. I still love like, the idea. Even at 14, we know what's happening. <laughs> I still love the idea of being uh, being a, a drive-in converted to a cemetery, and you just you, the speakers are there just so they can talk to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you go you go wait to hear. Wait, I, I want to hear if he's going to say anything. Exactly. Hey, are you there? Hey, hold on. <laughs> hold on. The Spanish station is checking in. It's cutting through. Hola, puppy. <laughs> and it's almost full. Like, well, I mean, not almost, but I mean, they, look, it's not going to take long to fill that thing up. Oh, that's sad. No, uh, yeah, it is sad. <laughs> I remember, I, man, when I went in there the first time with my wife, I told her, I, I said, uh, Brace yourself, honey. I, I said, look, I'm going to tell you something when we get in here you're going to laugh about. We get in there, we get back there, and this is before my mother passed. And we get back there, and I said, you see that building over there? It was where all the like all the equipment was to take care of the grounds or whatever. I said, that used to be the projection room and concession stand. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Too soon. <laughs> we go in there, and I said, where mom is buried, some stuff happened. Let's just say. <laughs> let's say. Let's say. At least two or three of these people in this place probably born <laughs> uh, from a backseat that happened right back there where mom is. Hi, mom. <laughs> oh, my God. So funny. Every time I go back, I'll smoke a cigar and leave it on her gravestone. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, I do. I sit there on my tailgate, and I smoke a cigar and just smoke a cigar. Just relax and... You know, just talk to her. Just that's rem- cool. Just that is rem- very cool. I just remember my, that's how my uncle knows I've been in town. Uh, sometimes he goes, "Hey, did you leave a cigar on mom's on uh, you know on your mom's grave?" And I, I said, "Yeah, I'll go what? in there. I'll just sit on my tailgate, or I'll sit on what used to be my tailgate uh, in the back <laughs> of my truck, and I'll just sit there and just kind of dangle my feet and just kind of you know just think of how life has gone and you know where we are and what's going on and and I just leave that butt right there for." Her. So well, she that, like that, just but... smushed into the ground. No, and I just you... I just sit right there uh, respectfully, right there on the on okay, the grid. good. Because I was gonna say, don't tell me you <laughs> put it out on the top. <laughs> There's ashes all over. I'm not, it. I'm not a sadist. <laughs> I'm like, say my name right. Burn. <laughs> Do your chores. Burn. I got oh, you. Oh, just like home. you can't can't fight back now, can you? <laughs> Look at you just laying there, taking it. <laughs> Now she's the greatest man. My mom was uh pretty cool, and my uncle did that whole stainless steel thing. Yeah, and it's still there. Did a great beautiful. job. Beautiful. Do you guys visit? I mean, you don't obviously, but do you, do you get a chance to visit much? Uh, so, no. And bad. when I went, bad, bad. I well, so bad. see now that stop so bad. We're out of time. <laughs> yes, maybe talk about this tomorrow because when my <laughs> wife learned that I had never been there, oh Jack, Jack, she was shocked. Jack, I've been there twice. Oh, good for you. Okay, good. Now, okay, good. But yeah. it was only two. Two years ago, or now it's maybe three years ago, where I went back, but that was the first time since '75. What is it? You mean oh, for your father? Yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about your mom. You oh been- no, 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 no. So my yeah, um, where is she again? Oh God, Jack! Okay. No, I got to run here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's not enough staff around I, here, Jenny. I, I, I spent more time at work. I wanted her here with me. Found her. She was behind the pickles. <laughs> The back right part of the fridge. She's the one who left that mic on early. I mean, who do you think the guy from uh, Psycho learned it from? Yeah, right. The original Psycho. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Back in a sec, we'll do You Heard It Here First, then get the hell out of Dodge. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35, Storm Team Meteorologist Ian Cassette with your Central Florida forecast. Breezy winds continue here through this evening, but become lighter overnight. A low around 56 degrees under clear skies. We will see some wonderful weather on Friday, high of 75 degrees and abundant sunshine, along with some lower humidity. This weekend, the sunshine continues. Temperatures will gradually be warming to near 80 degrees on Saturday and lower 80s for Sunday. No rain chances in the forecast until the middle of next week. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Ian Cassette. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. 
After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Toolsy's Hardware carries the best brands and grills from Weber, Big Green Egg, Traeger, and Napoleon. These guys also have pizza ovens from Uni and Gosney. By the way, not just for pizzas. These things make a damn good steak as well. Everyone needs a good place to sit. You can do that with Hollywood Outdoor Furniture. Virtually indestructible. Will not fade in the Florida sun. They also have service tech specializing in grills for repair and warranty issues. You can also get free assembly and local delivery on any backyard purchase, $3.99 and up. It's Tools Ace Hardware, legendary here in Central Florida. The best service, the best people you'll get, no question. 13 convenient locations all throughout the area, including that brand new store in Hamlin, or you can just shop online at acehardware.com. Get that free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools Ace, your local helpful place. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell found Founder of Wesley Financial Group has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. Watching the Magic game from home means squeezing four friends onto a two-person couch and dealing with that one guy always blocking the TV. But if you win free tickets to the game with Total by Verizon, you'll kick back with a fresh serving of nachos and witness all the action up close. Seems like an easy call. Head to the nearest Total by Verizon store for a chance to win. No purchase necessary ends April 1st, 2024. Legal residents of Florida who reside within 150 miles of Orlando, Florida, but not within 75 miles of Miami, Florida, only 18 plus. See rules for more info available at tvvstoreticketsweeps.com. Get an alarm clock! Get a rooster! Kane's Super Saturday Sale starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. Prepare to lose your mind. This Saturday, for one day only, Kane's goes all the way. Everything's on sale. Over $40 million in furniture. The whole Chevy. Brand new sofas from $499. Dining rooms from $299. Three-piece beds from $299. Come on! Plus, special financing store-wide. Call the cops. This is stealing. It's Super Saturday at Kane's. Kane's, Kane's, Kane's. This Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., it's Super Saturday at Kane's. Doors open at 10 a.m. Kane's. You won't find it for less. Kane's. Super Saturday. Keys, keys, keys. Elevate your outdoor living space this year using stone. Tanzite has developed stone decking crafted without any plastic composite materials to redefine durability. Visit tanzite.com to see how stone decking doesn't scratch, stays cooler, isn't slippery, and has all the durability you would expect from stone, which is why it's guaranteed for life. At Tanzite.com, you will see how we developed stone to easily transform any ordinary wood deck. You can even make your deck waterproof for a dry space below. Versatile and adaptable, Tanzite is perfect for decks, stairs, over concrete, or ground applications. Visit Tanzite.com to start planning your project with a free 3D design and construction plan tailored to your space. Order a sample today to witness the incredible beauty and durability firsthand at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Life's a constant swirl of shopping. Groceries, clothes, gifts, the occasional self-care splurge. You know how it is. That's why you should get the Drop app. With Drop, you earn points for shopping and turn those points into gift cards. Last year, I scored $150 in gift cards alone. Make sure to use code DROP23 when you sign up and get $5 in drop points. That's DROP23. Get rewarded for shopping and download Drop now for free on the App Store or Google Play. Business owners, had enough of this yet? Are you just done and ready to retire? 
Is money tight? Or maybe business is at an all-time high. You have options. Don't just walk away. We can help you sell, retire, and just relax no matter what your situation is. Hi, I'm Andy Cagnetta, and at Transworld Business Advisors, we've been selling businesses for over 40 years. And with offices located around the world, we have thousands of buyers ready to buy your business now. Don't wait until the last minute or try to do it yourself. That is a recipe for disaster. Call for a confidential conversation about your business's current value and how Transworld can maximize your eventual selling price. We will help you win. And in the current climate, you need help to sell your business. Call Transworld at 833-SELL-FLA or visit tworld.com. That's 833-SELL-FLA or visit tworld.com. There's only one place to watch this nonsense. At Jim Colbert Show on YouTube. Today is a one-up for the Mr. Matt Jackson, buddy of mine who died in a motorcycle accident about two years ago on this day. Uh, love you, brother. Keep watching over me, but I know it's a full-time job. Pouring one out for him, boss. Pouring one out. You know it. All right, 407-916-1041. Text us at 77031. Welcome back. I am Jim. Deb is right there. Hello. Jack is here as well. I am. Guys, don't forget, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, the Monsters Brew Bus tickets will go on sale. Uh, and like I tell you with these things, because there are limited seats uh, and the cost is very m nominal compared to what you get, it's going to sell out fast. So if you are down for going to the Monsters Brew Bus, I suggest you be ready to go at 10 a.m. sharp tomorrow morning with your credit card in hand because uh, it's going to go. Also, if you want to join us for our big event coming up at Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill, our Sip and Savor event featuring beers from Hidden Springs out of mm -hmm. Tampa. The food was absolutely out of this world today. Simply amazing. Another great lineup of dishes from Chef Tala Luna. April 6th is when that will happen. Harry's Poolside uh, dot com is where you can get your tickets. I suggest getting them. They're $70 a piece. And I promise you when you show up that after it, you'll shake my hand and tell me, thanks for the heads up. This is one of the best deals I've ever gotten for a food and beverage event. Oh, yeah, exactly. Because they are not small plates. You will leave very, very full. And I dare you to find gourmet food with those kinds of beer pairings for that you, price you're anywhere in Central Florida. You, you you're not, not. going to find and it. And I'm going to tell you something else. And I said it before. I mean, if you're worried about getting, getting your money's worth, and this is one of the big things I worry about when building events or, or, or we as we will. I've, you know, I've only done the one, the Holy Tacamole. I've and only then, done the one. And then De <laughs> Deb did uh, Suds, Pups, and Pints. But, you know, you want a great value for yes. people who are listening. I mean, look, man, everybody kind of understands things are tight for a lot of people out there. And you don't want to bludgeon people to death with pe with things that are, that are really expensive. I've actually turned down events that are over $100 to, to get into. I just didn't think it's a good look. This is only $70. Yeah. You get six dishes and pretty much all the Hidden Springs beer you want to drink, to be honest with you. And even they even offer the hotel offers a package where you can stay overnight if you're worried about drinking too much or imbibing too much or or doing whatever just make a staycation out of it many people do that by the way because a lot of people we had a group that would come over from lakeland actually it was davenport but they would come over from that area oh, there's like six of them yeah. and they, they made every one they were at every one of these and i will tell you something else this is just me giving you a heads up once you go to one of these what's going to happen is this the people who are at the event will already out they will buy out the next event so if you don't get in on these first ones, there's a chance it'll be hard to get a ticket to one uh, down the road. We'll be doing another in August. We'll pair up with another uh, brewery or another cocktail company, and we'll have six more dishes from Chef Tala Luna, and then we'll move <laughs> forward. And I will tell you the amazing thing is the chef doesn't drink. Yeah. So he has to kind of smell it and then rely on the beer maker to tell him what, what it yeah. tastes like so that he can get the, the things that will pair up for the beer. And I'm telling you right now, when you eat that chicken roulade with that mole, that mole, and you drink it with that raspberry or that passion fruit sour, mm -hmm. you are going to lose your mind. Like that, Jimmy did. That dish alone would be worth the entry, I'm telling you. That's harryspoolside.com. We hope to see you there for sure. Let's see what else we have. Uh, yeah, we always want you to follow us on YouTube, uh, jimcoberlive.com. Click right through and give us a like or follow if you uh, go to our YouTube channels, all of our social media. We could use a follow there as well. That helps us out quite a bit. Deb, let's do You Heard It Here First. It's time for You Heard It 
here first on the Jim Colbert Show. Now let's cover a few stories that uh, hadn't broke by the time we had done woke news earlier in the show. So a State Department official has stepped down to protest U.S. support of Israel. On Wednesday, Anel Shaleen announced her resignation from her position with the Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights and Labor. She said she could no longer work for the administration as it enabled Israeli atrocities in Gaza. Shaleen isn't the first staffer to resign over the war, and she said there are many others in the department who share her views. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Netanyahu just finally made an agreement to uh, to meet, though, right? Yes. He said no, but at the last minute he, he agreed. So, okay, I think it was because... You know, we were basically going, hey, man, you know, this thing's going to get out of hand and we're not going to be able to control this anymore. And the world is watching and it doesn't look good. So you got to figure something out. Everybody understands Israel has to protect themselves, but at what cost kind of thing. And it's starting to look maybe like they're going a little over, over, and, you know, I mean, I know the people Starting. Are like, yeah. And that's where the administration yeah. said, listen, your continuing actions, especially if you go into Rafa during right. the holy month of Ramadan, it, it could cause us to rethink U.S. Right. support, which are critical words for right, Israel. Right. Meanwhile, the Republican can't, Party... Can't wait for it to be more of a campaign issue, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll uh, be fun. I don't see that coming. Uh, yeah. Speaking of that, the Republican Party is not retaliating against NBC for firing its former chairwoman on Thursday. RNC chairwoman <laughs> Michael Watley said that NBC won't face consequences from the party over the firing of former chairwoman Ronna McDaniel. He, and, they fired her, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I was> <laughs> He insisted the Republican Party needed to use any platform available to spread its message. NBC News hired McDaniel as a commentator weeks after she resigned from her position at the RNC. Of course, she was fired by NBC two days after her first appearance on Meet the Press after pundits on the network and other networks uh, pr- protested her presence on the news. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the challenge is they want to have someone that can represent the, the a conservative voice, the, not the conservative, the pro Trump voice. They have plenty of conservatives that don't like Trump since he's the presumptive nominee. They want someone who can support right. that. But you got to find someone who can support that that isn't an election denier right, yeah. and, you know, and can deal with facts. As, as they facts. are. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. The biggest thing she did right out front is she said she thought that Joe Biden won the election uh, fair and square. I yeah. mean, that's like the first thing she said. And that's what really started drawing the first bit of ire is like, wait a minute. I mean, yeah. where have you been for the last two years? Right, exactly. what have you been saying? <laughs> and then finally, get this. The earth is spinning faster. What? <laughs> And it could lead to a second needing to be subtracted from time. Sorry, Jimmy. I saw that. I got to reset my watch. Yeah, that's according to a new study published Wait, in the we're journal. We're losing a second. Yep. Yeah, in the journal Nature. Now, since 19- we already lost an hour this month. <laughs> since 1972, a so-called leap second has been added 27 times in order to keep coordinated universal time in sync with astronomical time because Earth's rotation has slowed. Mm. Geophysicist Duncan Agnew at University of California, San Diego, who authored the study, says the Earth is now rotating at a faster pace and a second will need to be subtracted instead of added for the first time ever in 2029. Earth is hauling ass. And now you heard it here first on the Jim Colbert Show. There you go. Let's get the hell out of here, man. Big day today. It was a lot of fun. Again, Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. If you want to grab your tickets for that, we'd love to see you there. Deb, who do we have to thank today? Well, first we want to say that our thank yous are brought to you by Life Imaging FLA. Don't forget to get your scan today. We want to thank Danny Meyering with Orlando Date Night Guide. You can get her recommendations under the goods at jimcolbertlive.com. Also want to thank attorney uh, Glenn Klausman of Klausman Law for Colbert Court, own section there at uh, jimcolbertlive.com. And then get ready, Chef Tella Luna, Allison Aiken, Adrian Lee, and Blake Levinson from our Sip and Savor event. And last but never least, Sam Bowen and Candice Rich for running our YouTube chat. Yeah, thanks, Seth. We appreciate that. Jack, question of the day? Yeah, it's an important one because it affects what I'm doing for dinner tonight. (laughs) The the question is, can you eat leftovers five days old? Oh, man, you're taking the life dice there, in my opinion. I think that's right at the cusp. I would say most people say no. No, bro. 56% say Yes. Eat it up. Oh, boy. Now I got to eat it. All right. Coming in tomorrow, let's see. We have uh, Primetime Kitchen. We have Embers Only. We have Sinker Sale. We have Rich Tips, your calls, your texts, your talkbacks, all kinds of fun stuff. We'll see you tomorrow for sure. On behalf of Deb and Jack, I am Jim. We follow the news junkie. What are you doing? Let's get some good music going there, buddy. There we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. We follow the news junkie. They follow the monsters (laughs) of the morning after us. It's Tom and Dan with the Corporate Time and our friends from Real Laughs. We'll see you tomorrow at 3 for more of the Jim Colbert Show. Until then, have yourself a fantastic Thursday evening. Bye. See you tomorrow.
Well, I don't know about that. A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan is coming up next on Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop.